Nikopara Volume 2 is a masterpiece? I saw that, Frisky H. I saw it. You thought you were going to be able to say something like that in chat and, and not have it called out on stream? Nekopara 2 is a master masterpiece. It's no masterpiece, bro. Okay, so um, I was watching back some of the VODs and I think that my um, my microphone was up too high because uh, everyone freaked out that it was too low on the first stream. But I think what was actually happening was that just the music was too loud. Um, so I messed around with it a little bit. So how's the volume? Am I okay? It's down a little bit more. It, it could probably still be down a little bit more, but um, yeah, it was it was clipping a bit, um, and I don't like the clipping. And if you know what clipping is, it just makes the whole experience and fucking sufferable. So like I, I moved it down a little bit. You think my mic should be a bit louder? I really don't think so because. OBS is telling me that I'm like, okay, so there's levels, there's green, yellow, red, and you want the loudest one to be in the yellow, but never in the red. And if I make it any louder, it's gonna go into the red. Um, and, and I think it's gonna clip. So I can turn the music down a little bit more. Okay, I turned down a little bit more, all right. Cause the music's pretty loud um, compared to me. Uh, maybe I should turn it back up a little bit, I don't know. We're good, we're good. We're Gucci, we're Gucci gang. Gungeon update is out? God damn it, god damn it. God damn you weebs making me play this game when the Gungeon update's out. God damn it. Yeah, anyway, sorry we're a little late. Um, I had to go out and get some stuff and uh, I was late coming back because because uh, I got way too much and, and uh, I almost died coming back. Um, and uh, then Leo ripped out of his, his, his containment and I had to like drill a new kind of thing into the wall to make it so he can't escape anymore and um and i was doing that literally like two minutes before i came downstairs to start the stream so yeah sorry that i'm i'm, I'm late oh man hi joe hey reese nisi how's it going the gungeon update is pretty good why why taunting me what why what 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 why taunting me for zero three seven yeah there is zero three seven I hate doing all these stream is live tweets, but I guess some people wait for them and they don't and they don't arrive until then. Every time I don't do it, I always get a message without fail. I was waiting for the tweet or I was waiting for the message. You didn't do it. I'm like, oh shit, I'm sorry, man. You know, like, but I, I hate doing them all. It's, it's, it seems so shitty. Like, hey, come watch me. Come watch me. I'm here. All right. Do 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 Dengen Rampa. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, because I was late, I just I just started the stream without having any of my windows or anything set up. So just give me a second. I'm almost done. So if I don't have Gungeon and it's currently 50% off on Switch, how much better do you think the PC version is? Um, okay, so I've played the Switch version. It was actually uh, when we were going through the move, it was it was the only um, the only video gaming that I was doing. Um, uh, I tried Hollow Knight briefly, but I don't know. There's something about Hollow Knight on the Switch that I just played Hollow Knight a lot, and and I wanted to wait till the last update, so I couldn't really get into it. Um, but it seemed pretty good. Um, the only thing that was weird about the Hollow Knight on Switch was that uh, the the water and the acid area looked a little different, um, and I thought that was kind of weird. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, so I was playing quite a bit of Gungeon on, on the Switch, um, while we were going through the move, and, um, uh, it's decent, it's just that it has a lot of frame rate drops, um, and there's, there's, there's like a mode that's better, that's supposed to be more, more frame rate friendly, but it's not, it doesn't work, um, at least it doesn't work as well as it should, so yeah, there's, there's, it's not, it's not, terrible it's just not as good as the pc version um in almost every single room it'll be fine but on some of the bosses especially um uh the the the, the pillar bosses the 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 killer pillars i can't remember what they're called um and uh the the wall boss um the secret boss uh, a phase on dragon you know th th things like that um, if there's just if the if the screen is filled with bullets, you're you're going down to maybe 15, maybe sometimes even single digit frames per second. 
Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty bad, but um, it's not unplayable. Uh, so yeah, but I would vastly prefer the the the, the PC version. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe my Switch is just fucked. I don't know. Uh, thank you. Another Twitch account for the new sub with Prime. Thank you very much. Another Twitch account. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Prime Time. Another Twitch account. Thank you so much. Thank you, Barti, Barti, Bartios, Barti, Bartix, Bartiox. I don't know. Bartixos, I think. For 500 bits. Last stream, you asked whether you could watch the VOD with only VOD chat due to a bug. That's exactly how last stream's VOD. Yeah, I noticed that. So tell us, Joseph, are you psychic or do you just have pretty good intuition? Uh, a little, little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, know, I saw it too. I thought it might be because of the um, the the spoiler room that we added. Um, but no, apparently it was just all the streams that they don't, ha don't have uh, chat. Which is a shame because I like watching the clips and I like watching the VOD back with, with chat. Because um, I don't get to see some of that sometimes. Um, especially when it's a game like this, I'm trying to avoid spoilers. And I can go back and, wa and, and read chat without any issue. Because it's always kind of a um, always kind of a uh, a risk reading chat. Um, am I on free time? I don't think so, right? Because I want to go to the store. So okay, because I wanted to open the stream with um, spending all of our coins, but I don't think we're on free time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wait like a couple like a minute or two for people to get in because I don't want them to miss anything. But yeah. Um, so yeah, um, the uh, there's a chat room for spoilers if you want to go into there if you play the game. Um, you uh, can go up to the top of the chat and there's a spoiler room. You can go in there if you want. Um, I'm not going to be reading it at all, but if you've already played the game, you can go in there. Yep. You can do that from the main menu, can you? Mm. If... If you can, I'm not seeing it, but I'm menu blind. Oh, do we even want to spend our coins? We have a hundred coins. I like that we have a hundred coins. Hundred coins, man. Hundred coins. Main menu, not e-handbook. What's the main menu? This one? You, you can go to the you can go to the here and you can do the thing and it'll, it'll go into the our save file because then I'm leaving then I'm leaving the uh, the save file aren't I I love you too Dra dragon fine I love you too okay I'm not I'm not I'm not doing it I'm not doing it I'm not doing it we'll, we'll just go to the store we'll just go to the store uh, thank you to uh, Dimic97 for the new Silver Prime. Thank you very much, Dimic. Welcome to Prime Time. Dimic97, thank you. Thank you, Philipsina. Philipsina uh, for the new Silver Prime as well. Thank you very much. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you, Arajag, for the new Silver Prime also. Welcome to Prime Time. Arajag, thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Dark Link Second. Uh, your name seems familiar. Did you give some bits last stream or something? I remember your name, Dark Link Second. Maybe it was somewhere. Maybe it was a, a similar name that I read out. Uh, but thank you very much. Uh, welcome to the Dragon's Den. Welcome to the Rubber Dub Sub Club. Thank you, Fucus, for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Fucus. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joe's Juicy Butthole. I mean, I'm not going to disagree, but yeah, th thank you, Joe's Juicy Butthole, for for the uh, for the new sub. Thanks for that. Uh, thank you, Theoscar321 for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Theoscar321. Wait, 321, does that spell something? Thank you very much. And thank you, Keegan Loses for the new sub with Prime as well. Thank you, Keegan Loses. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's go out to breakfast. I think, I think we're okay. Uh, does anyone want to recap real quick? Maybe we should recap it. So, uh,. I'll try and keep this very, very brief because I know it's tedious for people who've been for the other streams and they're excited for me to progress the story. But let's do a, a very, a very brief recap. Um, spoilers from here on in. If you haven't played this game, uh, you probably should before you watch this, unless you're watching it with me, with like you're kind of experiencing it through me before. Um, like 
but yeah, if you have any intention of playing this game on your own at some point, maybe you shouldn't be watching and there's going to be spoilers. I'm going to tell you um, who is about who, who's been killed already. Uh, so we are in a school with 14 other students. Um, they're all here. And um, yeah, so uh, we've been kind of sucked into like, I think it's I think it's an alternate reality. Um, I don't think it's actually this, the physical school. I think it's like an alternate reality that we're in. Um, and uh, we're being uh, harassed by this bear uh, named Monokuma. Um, and basically, we're stuck here unless we kill someone. And if you kill someone and you get away with it, you get to graduate and leave. Um, and if you kill someone and then you, there's a trial and they and everyone else figures out that it was you, then you get killed. Everyone else gets to ever and everyone else gets to stay. Um, if you do get away with it and you leave, everyone else dies. So um, there, there are some. Everyone has a really big incentive to figure out who. Who, uh, who is the killer. Um, everyone here is an ultimate something, so ultimate moral compass, ultimate uh, affluent progeny, uh, ultimate biker gang leader, ultimate baseball star, ultimate fanfic creator, ultimate clairvoyant, ultimate pop sensation, ultimate... I, don't know, I, I feel like she's like military or something. Like, like she, she's so... She's so, like, disciplined. She's so, like, calm under pressure. She doesn't seem phased by anything. Like, I don't know what she is. Ultimate... I don't know. Um, ultimate swimming pro... Ultimate writing prodigy, uh, ultimate martial artist, ultimate gambler, ultimate fashionista, and ultimate programmer. And we are ultimate lucky. We're, we're, we're nothing. It's ultimate lucky um, that we, we just got here in a in a draw, uh, like a lottery draw for a... Shit, my... Sorry. <laughs> I'm stuck. All right, I fixed it. Sorry, my head, my headset wire was stuck under my chair. I fixed it. Sorry. Um, yeah, we, we, we just got drawn here, so we, we have no real um, special ability other than just being really really short. Um, yeah, so that's that's our uh, that's our, uh, our our story. So um, so far there have been three deaths. Um, so Sayaka was the first to die. Uh, she was our waifu at the at the, at the time. Uh, Sayaka was the first to die, and we solved the murder. Um, when we when we were told by the bear that we have to do a trial, um, An basically said, "You know what? No fuck you," and attacked the bear, and then the bear killed her, um, which was actually quite a surprise. It was, it was quite shocking. Um, and then we we solved the mystery, and it turns out that he was the one that killed Sayaka. So um, he's dead. And now we have opened up the second le level of the school. It has a pool. It has a library. Um, I think Aoi is the next one to die because of the pool. Um, I'm fairly certain that uh, someone's going to be found dead either in the gym, uh, the, sorry, the locker rooms, or they're going to be found dead in the pool. Um, and I feel like, I don't know why I feel like it's going to be Aoi. Uh, there's a new regulation I think is going to come into play to it too. There's a new regulation that says you, you can't, um, you can't give someone else your e-handbook. And your e-handbook is used in order to um, get into the either the boys' locker room or the girls' locker room. Um, so I'm pretty sure someone is going to steal someone else's e-handbook, use it to get into the locker room, and kill someone in the pool or in the locker room, that sort of thing. And I'm pretty sure that that's going to be, you know, a, a, a thing that, that's going to happen. And I, I'm going to guess that when... When the bear finds out that it was stolen, he's not going to give a shit that it was stolen. He's still going to punish the person whose ebook was stolen. Because that just seems like the kind of fucked up thing that he would do. That's that's what I think. But yeah, maybe maybe, maybe it's not going to be Aoi. But I don't know. It just... I hope not. Because uh, cause, cause she's, cause she's waifu choice number two right now. It's either Kyoko or Aoi. I feel like Kyoko is pretty fucking safe. I feel like, I feel like Kyoko is going to be here until the end. I don't know. I feel like Celeste is, is like is, was said to be the ultimate liar or something. I feel like Celeste is gonna kill someone at some point. Um, but yeah, maybe it's gonna be Hifumi that's gonna that's gonna die next. I don't know. Let's let's just hope so. Anyway, let's 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 go to breakfast. Leave the area. Yes. I uh, thank you, Green Green Osk, for the new sub. Thank you very much, Green Osk, and thank you, Jojo Maymay. For the new sub with Prime, thank you very much. So I'm trying to be quick with um, with uh, saying thank you because it's a narrative game and uh, there's gonna be a lot of talking. So um, apologies if if you want like the full. Oh, is this is open now? W what is this? Oh yeah, he um, Hitler dude said there was a new, there was a new uh, some new doors open. Uh, so apologies if you want the big like full cringe thank you thank you treatment, but um, we're uh, 
Oh no, there's a bath. Uh, but we're trying to move it along kind of kind of quickly. Um, even though I just did the recap. Yeah, but thank you again, Green Osk and uh, Jojo Mei Mei. Okay, we can't go and get the uh, and get the spend the coins. Hey, Makoto. How many people do you think will last till the end? Um, I don't think anyone's getting out. I, I, I don't think anyone's getting out. I, I don't see this game having a happy ending. I mean, there's probably going to be, I, I'm going to say, like, five people left by the time there's there's no more murders or whatever. But I, I don't I don't see I don't see everyone killing each other all the way until the end. I don't I don't think anyone's getting out. Morning, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope. Still waiting on uh, Bayakuya and Taka as I sniff my finger. All right, Danny. Bayakuya is no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> no, and Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. Mm. I'm sure he'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. Maybe one of them's dead. I don't mind waiting for them, but there's one problem, which is <sighs> I am thirsty. Like, um, for a drink or... Hey, come How on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> Hifumi, would you make me some tea? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> I mean, considering how she's dressed and everything, like, she's probably like Hifumi's, like, red kryptonite, right? Almost, almost certainly. Almost certainly. Milk tea, if you please. Well, well, why me? Let's see. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Uh, mm. okay. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hifumi skulked his way into the kitchen. What? What's that all about? And a few minutes later... <laughs> Thank you for waiting! Hifumi reappeared with tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> you, you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no Baka. way to think about this in a common I emphatically sense decline. Kind of way. You're not my type at all. Yep, <laughs> there we go. Mm hmm. It's all about the law of causality, basic instinct, act and react. Grr. <laughs> well, then, if you don't mind, a small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Are you starting to play Hifumi, Celeste? Oh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side. And threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Crash. What? What the? Hey, hey what are you doing, my little white rabbit? <sighs> I hate this kind of tea. Um, uh, um, I don't. Yeah, you totally are. Okay. Yes, indeed. You're gonna. You're starting to enthrall Hifumi. Imagine we are at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. They then ask me, "Would you like lemon or milk?" Now further imagine that I replied, ah yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup, mere condiments. I mean, I like ketchup. Whenever looking, whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. <laughs> and I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. All right, that's, thanks, thanks, Makoto. Adding milk during the brewing process is gross, man. You, you, you okay, you, you get, you get the, you get the cup, you put the tea bag in the cup, or, or the pot, if you're using a pot, whatever, and then you, you, you pour the hot water into, 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 into the cup, you stir it around like crazy, you squeeze the tea bag a little bit to get it all saturated with water, then you let it stew for a little while or steep for a while, then you take the tea bag out, then you put the sugar in if you're having sugar, then you put the milk in, then you turn it, stir it around. That's how you make tea. What, what are you fucking, fucking talking about putting the milk in while, while the tea bag's in? That makes it all gross. That's gross. Um, I went to all that trouble to make you that tea and you wanted me to go even farther? <sighs> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but <laughs> why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? Why do you have to ruin the cup? What does the cup do to you? Well, well um, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch. You little bitch. All right. That does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine. Say what? What? Oh, okay, your little piggy will bring it. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, well, that that was easy, wasn't it, Celeste? Well done. Well played, Celeste. Your little piggy will bring it right out. Mm-hmm. I do so love coercion. You were, like, a totally different person just now. Yeah, shit. You really went psycho there. <laughs> I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man. She's one scary chick. The dining hall... Dining hall doors flew open, and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But... Bad n bad news, everyone! There is a mystery afoot. Huh? You found a foot? Huh? What happened? <clears throat> it would seem Bayakuya refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think I'd maybe... like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. Is he dead? What he meant by that. He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It, it might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Uh, I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone. Um... Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. Okay, I'm, gl I'm glad you're not dead, Owie. I'm glad you're not dead. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button till I get a response. Well, then. Very well, Smoothskin. Then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we have to just do our best to find Bay Bayakuya. So where might Bayakuya have gone? Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. What's your end game, Celeste? What's your end game? Celeste, aren't you going to help look for Bayakuya? I have not had my tea yet. Huh. As for me. Until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. Actually, I can't talk. Lily's making me tea right now. I asked her to make me a tea before I came down. If you're in a hurry, feel free to motivate Hifumi to move faster. Oh, okay. But aren't you being kind of selfish? Uh, thank you, Asylum, or Asylum, for the new sub of uh, Freight Months. Sorry, the, uh, the resub Freight Months, the new sub Freight Months. Um, glad that you are finally getting settled. How are you enjoying the murder fun times? It's actually really good. I'm really enjoying this game. Yeah, well, I, I say that, but I shouldn't say this game. I'm really enjoying this story, you know. Um, that is a really bad resolution on that, on, the, on the pots and pans up there, huh? I'm really enjoying the story. I'm, I'm enjoying the interactive work of fiction. It's not a game. Or, if it is a game, it's, it's, it's a very, very, uh, it's not a very good game. Who cares about the definition of game? I'm I'm being I'm being stupid by by by, by pointing that out. Uh, Mr. Useless, what's going on? Well, nobody's seen Bayakuya this morning, so we've all decided to go look for him. What? Well, what? That's not good at all. However. However, this little piggy needs to. I have a holy edict to deliver a proper milk tea to my master. Please. Yeah, you're just. It was that easy, really? To bless this undeserving swine with such an honor, I will serve you with all my heart and soul. Oh, okay. Good luck with that. Hifumi's created some creepy alternate reality for himself. Just like the bear. The trials are almost 50% gameplay though. Yeah, there is gameplay there, and it, it does meet the definition of, of everything that, that, you know, even the staunchest definition of gameplay. Um, there, there's failure, uh, it can be difficult, you know, there's things to do. Um, it's still pretty bad though. Like, by, by calling it by, by trying to make it be not a game, I'm actually doing doing it a favor. Thank you, Lily. You want to say hello? Hey, everybody. I squeezed the tea for you. Don't worry. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Did you add the milk during the brewing process? I did. You make it again. I did, but I've had tea like that, and it was actually good. They used to make it tea like that. Little, little piggy make it again. They used to make it at work. But... Really? Was it gross? No, I liked it. It was a different flavor to it, though. See, if I was committed to the bit, I would smash the cup against the wall, but I don't want to. Alright. Thank you for the tea. Okay. Thank you. Bye, you guys. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to make, make it better than it is by saying, you know, it's not really a game. Because if you go in expecting a game, um, then I, I think you're going to be disappointed. But, um, I don't know. If... What Remains of Edith Finch isn't a game, okay? It, it just isn't. 
you know, it's still worthwhile. It's still a very, very good experience, and I enjoyed it very, very much. And it's still worth your time. It's worth your money. It's worth your attention. Um, but it's it's not a game. It's it's and it, definitions are important. It's it's sort of like saying, you know, um, you know, Super Super Mario Odyssey is a horror game. Well, it's not. It's not a horror game. It's not even a little bit of horror game. You know, but if you call it a horror game, then then people are going to be upset, and rightfully so. You're saying it wrong. Um, but if 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 you added like one part to Edith Finch that it suddenly became a 2D platformer for 20 seconds and you had to jump over a pit and make a jump and if you didn't you failed and you had to start over again does that make it a game all of a sudden because 20 seconds of it is a game I don't think so I don't think so at all um so even though it has a a, a tiny moment of gameplay I don't think it is a game um I don't know just like but the thing it's really complicated. Like a lot of the Metal Gear Solid games are not games for a long time. A long time. You know, if you if you add up all the all the times during Metal Gear Solid that you were just watching a movie, you know, like that's it's it's a significant amount of time. You know, and so it gets complicated. So I, I guess there there has to be some cutoff of like a, a certain certain portion of it needs to be gameplay for, for long enough for it to be considered a game. Um, and I would say Edith Finch isn't there, and I would probably say this game isn't there either. And, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. It's it's still worthwhile. This is this is good. It's a good experience. I'm really enjoying it. Hey, Hina, any luck? Mm. Nah, it's no use. I keep banging on his door and nothing. Mm. Come on already. Open up. Bang, bang, bang. C careful, you're going to bust the door down when hitting it that hard. <laughs> Relax. This is nothing compared to what Sakura could do. Ah. Sakura is really awesome, you know. If she really wanted to, she could tear this door to shreds. Uh, I see. Well, she is the ultimate martial artist. She might actually be able to do it. Mm. Mm. I've been knocking long enough. I think I can say for sure he's not here. Or he's dead inside. I think you're right. Okay, I'm going to go look around for him. Yeah. Okay, good luck. I mean, maybe he let someone in. And then they killed him. And then they took his key. And then they locked the door. Hey, Yuri. Hey, Toko. Hanging out with Hina, huh? What's your what, problem? you got a problem with that? No, no. Humph. <laughs> Something might have happened, right? Being alone right, right now might not be safe. So you got scared and decided to stay close to Hina. I guess everyone has a softer side. <laughs> as long as I'm w with the sports idiot, if something that does happen, I'm sure she'd jump in without the thinking and take the fall. Huh? What? Were you e eavesdropping? Awful, you're just awful. You get lost, you stray cat. St oh, damn. Oh, oh, damn, stray cat. Oh, right in the heart. So let's call Hifumi a little bitch for not making tea and you just call me straight cat. Alright. Uh, and thank you Cakewalking Remastered for some bits. Have you got a hang of... What? Gr grab D system? What? At the trial? What's the... What's the... What's the... There we go. All right. Yeah. Grab, grab, grab the, 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 grab the nuts, Joe. All right. Okay. All right. That's a bit of a stretch. I don't think that one counts. That's a bit of a, ca a stretch. What are you doing in the bathroom, mm. hero? Huh? Oh, well. According I to could the sell spirits. the spirits and... He had a bathroom emergency and couldn't make it to breakfast. Well, His guts forced him to spend all morning in the can. No but way. I was totally wrong. Swing and a miss. Three strikes, I'm out. Yeah, Baikuya doesn't seem like that kind of guy to have problems like that. Wait, aren't there bathrooms in, in the dorms, though? Or is it just showers in the dorms? Joseph, what are your thoughts on Ligma? I don't know. Why don't you lick my balls and tell me? Got him. Boom roasted. Boom roasted. Ooh, look at all this shit. There's some coins in here. Aha, I see you came to search this area as well, Makoto. Hmm. But you were one step too late. I've already finished my investigation and there was no trace of Baikuya here. Hear An army marches on its stomach, as they say. So I thought maybe he would come here to have his fill. We must all eat, eat until there's nothing left to eat. Anyway, now is no time to get discouraged. We must head elsewhere to continue our search. Yeah, you're right. There's some coins in here, I know it.
There's, there's gonna be a coin here. It's gonna be a coin here. There's all kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. I could never get half this stuff in the outside world. Coin, coin, god, god damn it, god damn it. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm deleting this wad. There's all kinds of stuff. This is, this is the oh, god damn it. Okay, this time. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. There's all kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. I got kind of excited looking at it all because there's a coin. Oh no. All right, this is the one. This is it. This is it. This is it. From basic ingredients to snacks and candy, it's everything anyone could ever want or need. There's no coin! There's no coin! Is this the fridge Sayaka mentioned? It's stuffed tight with food and drinks. How did Sayaka know? A surveillance camera. There was no- there are no coins in here! No coins! That's just wrong. Maybe you can't have more than 100 coins, so I need I, I should go spend them and then go back and search them again, right? Okay, a coin in the, that fell down in the seat? Come on. That's just a given. Using this mas massage chair would make me feel kind of old. Yes! Yes! Okay, we're back. We're back on it. We're back on it. All right, we're back on it. There's no coin over here. No coin over here. Lockers. One of them is unlocked, but I don't see anything inside. Yep, yep. Called it. No coin. Yo. How's it going? You find him? No. Hey, come Shit, on. man, where the hell did he go? He's got his head stuck so far up his ass, who knows what's going on with him. I figured maybe he was taking a bath or something. By the way. So what about you? You have a morning you a morning bath kind of guy? Hell yeah. After, <laughs> after spending all night riding your hog. He fool me? Why wind, wind in your face. W wind in your face. Wind in your face. There's nothing better than a morning dip. The hot water loosens you up, and the heat of your soul gets your heart and body pumping. Sure thing. I'll have to take your word for all that. What? What? You don't know what, what? I'm talking about? Fucking nerd. Hell yeah. Guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know? Come with me next time. You'll see. Alright, Mondo. I'll, 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 I'll think about it. But I mean, it's not like you've been riding your hog here in the school, right? Oh, damn, look at this. Did someone throw a coin in the wishing well? Don't ask me, I'll never tell. This bathtub is huge. Junko would have loved it in here. It's a shame. What's this? Is it the heat source for the sauna? Yeah, it's hot. It's hot coals and you pour water on it. I always thought the sauna's kind of suffocating. Anyone else that I just got here? Nope, no one yet. Um, I don't think we're gonna go through every single every single room and see where everyone is. That that that'd be kind of tedious. Um, and we'll wait till free time to do the, to do the store. All right, that's still closed. The nurse is still 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 out. Let's not go to the gym. Let's just go upstairs. What are you, Kiyako? Hey. So you thought to come here too? Huh? So... If you think about what Bayakuya was so interested in yesterday, you can probably guess where he is right now, right? In that room that you want no one else to go into? Huh? What was it Bayako was interested in again? The bathroom. No, that's wrong! Um... Oh, hey Makoto. So, did you find Bayakuya? Uh you know, I didn't see him anywhere. I see. What? Somehow, Kyoko... Kyoko figured out where he might be. Huh. You know? Kyoko's so amazing. She's so cool, she's smart, and she seems really tough. She's definitely smart, that's for sure, but... Tough? Compared to, say, Sakura or even Hina, she doesn't seem all that different from Chihiro. 
Is it weird to compare them like that? Aww. Are you an idiot, Makoto? Ah. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Bayakuya? Of all the things I'd imagined, this most definitely wasn't one of them. <gasps> He's drinking the milk tea? Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? Oh, what are you trying to catch? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. Yeah, you made a promise to, to Sora. Let's go. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Bayakia snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and start showing up one after another. Yo! I just want to say you are the genuine best personality I've found on Twitch. You think so? Thank you so much. I, I don't think that's true. Maybe it's true for you, but I think there are much better streamers than me. But thank you. Thank you very much. Another Twitch account. That's very nice. Excited for Gungeon? Yep, very excited. I don't know if I have time to play it. But um, whenever I do get time, I, I, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, thank you, uh, Ar Arkham816, eight, sorry, 817, uh, A-R-K-M, Arkham, I guess. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Welcome to Prime Time. Welcome to Prime Time. Arkham817, thank you, thank you. I went on a little journey there trying to say all that. Thank you, Tetra... Tetris... <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Te Tetracycloid? Psych... Cycloid? I, I, I'm saying it right, right? Tetracycloid? Thank you very much. I've said your name before, haven't I? Or I've seen your name somewhere before. I remember the cycloid part. Maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe I'm finally lo losing it. Li live on stream, I'm losing my marbles. I'm losing all of them. All of them are going. But thank you very much for, for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Tetracycloid. Uh, thank you, Tim Foyle, for the 100 bits. Uh, Makoto versus Nishima. Joe, choose your champion in a battle to the death. Oh, M M Makoto. Makoto all the way. Makoto all the way. Like, N N Makoto is no Nishima. Nishima's pretty bad. Pretty bad. I, I think all the characters in, in, in both games are better than Nishima. Easy. Easy. Why are you all... Why are you all pointing? What's all the arrows? Thank you, 10trix.7. 10trix.7. Thank you very much for the new sub. Welcome to Dragon's Den. Welcome to the Rubber Dub Sub Club. Thank you for the sub. Bayakuya, so this is where you've been hiding. Uh, I don't think he's been hiding. What the heck are you doing here, man? Mm? We were very, we were very concerned. Hm. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Wait. Useful? Well... What, what were you reading? A mystery novel. Well... Oh, wait, so you're gonna use what you're learning in there to betray us? Oh, did you make the tea, Hifumi? Hm. Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. <laughs> his words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this strange killing game. Damn you! That's what Danganronpa means, right? Killing game? What does it mean? I, what does Danganronpa mean? Or is it a spoiler? What the fuck do you mean, game? That's fucked up. Hello, Makoto. I want to play a game. But it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can only, which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. It means bullet refutation. What? Or bullet rebuttal? Okay, so that is that is that the literal translation? 
what what does that mean in 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 Japanese? Like what 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 would be the 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 actual closer translation to what it's meaning to? It's just a nonsense word, really. Okay. He is right. It is a zero. It's a zero sum game. Um. I don't think that means what you think it means, huh? Are you okay it with is a this? part of game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like... <laughs> can I can I keep up the smooth skin? Greetings, smooth skin. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually. Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. I actually don't know enough about game theory to dispute that. Maybe that's accurate. I shouldn't say that. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, is that okay? our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the blackened. So in other words... So, this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. For that, that can't, that can't be what they had in mind. Of course it is. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. Okay, he's lost it. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> What if, what if Sakurai just decided to kill all of us? Right? Hmm. That's a good point, actually. That's a good question. I wish I could ask the bear. If, so let's say, let's say Celeste tries to kill Aoi, right? So Celeste tries to kill Aoi. I don't think she's actually going to try, but let's say Celeste tries to kill Aoi. And as, and as she has the knife in Aoi's neck, you know, Hifumi just walks in and is like, do -ba -do -ba -do. And and then uh, and and then behind Hifumi, you know, uh, Mondo walks in too. You know, they both walk in together, and they see you know, and there's awkward, you know, record scratch. Celeste looks up, knife still in Aoi's neck. Like, oh shit! Like, does she just instantly get executed then because we know who it was, or do we still go through the trial and everything? Because if you still go through the trial, I'm pretty sure Sakura, I see a way out of this for you. Just kill everyone before the trial starts, and then there's no, there's nothing can happen. Is that in the rules somewhere? Maybe I should read the rules again. It sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others, exactly what I would expect from the Togami era parent. <sighs> it's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. Maybe you're the next one to die, Ketchy. You son of a Who bitch! Who the fuck do you think you are? You know, I, s I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? What if we like Julius Caesar him too, and we just all? What if? What if the rest of us decide to kill one person, and we just all stab them at the same time, and no one knows? There are loopholes. Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain dead, useless wait, useless piece of garbage. That's <laughs> fine. This. Are we getting tired of the useless meme? Should I stop saying it? Is anyone getting tired of the useless meme? Piece of shit! I'm gonna fucking kill you. Don't make me repeat myself. Like I said, I won't die. <sighs> you keep saying that, but do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of simply of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent prog progeny, after all. A boy raised to, to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Akechi? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I am the same as you. Game it is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close to close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well well, I do apologize. <laughs> Anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? N no. Th that's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because... This, this isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. 
to kill your own friends is is it's horrific. It's horrific. <laughs> friends, who decided that? Yeah, exactly. There's no Ross and Rachel. Huh? There's no Joey. Well, <laughs> how you doing? We're not friends. No, <laughs> quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But but, but you know what? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um. Uh, um. Come on. Yes. If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Stop fucking hey, around. Hey, shithead! You get off on bullying people that can't fight back. You want to try that on me? Hm. So you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's gonna last? Piece of shit. Piece of shit. Fuck you. What? Is that all you can say? It's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You gibberish? son of a bitch! Gibberish? gibberish, gibberish. That's not it. You're fucking dead. Just a second. But hold on. Just calm down. Piece of shit. I am. <laughs> Piece of shit. I am calm. Uh... Calm down, Mondo. How is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food, and I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. <sighs> Shit. Quit talking like you're a fucking. Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. With a second glance back, Akechi left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. Really? I think I think you're the only one that doesn't get it, Makoto. It's just you. But... Okay, you and Danny. What, what was... <laughs> Was, was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, fuck him then. Maybe. But what he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you just say for sure someone won't poison our food? Mm. Hey, come on, you too, Toko. Anyway. Well, it's not like anyone would care, even if I w was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, I bet you all will want me gone. You all think I'm d disgusting. Now nah, you're great. I love you, Toko. You're you're an intense ball of crazy. It's awesome. None of us think that. I'm you, you just, just, you. just you just think you don't think that, but but Baka. <sighs> I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. <laughs> you think I d d don't know, but I do. You want me g gone. <laughs> And I'm the sure heck? the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Uh, hey, Toko, wait. <laughs> Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. Where's Kyoko? Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Jeez, I'm tired already. But I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Free time! Free time! Time to spend some money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Okay, now I don't think Aoi's gonna be next to die. And that's a shame, because I, I kind of wish it was obvious who the next person was to die is, so I could make sure to hang out with them, so I, so I can get their skill. But yeah, how what 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 did what did the skill how did it work the the, the melodious voice work? Maybe I should trust my instincts and go Aoi. I don't think so though. Repeated content, repeated content. Ooh, lucky, nice.
Uh, armor? Can I make the music louder? I can barely hear it. Oh, lucky again. Nice. Oh. Well, that's a shame. Hold on, I can make it a little louder. Okay, is that better? Okay, that should be much better, right? Is it still okay with me? Like, is my voice level still better? Can I make the whole stream louder though? Your stream is quite quite on the quiet side compared to other video streams. Yes, now it's really? Um I don't know. If if I turn my microphone up anymore, uh like it starts to clip, so I don't think so. Maybe there's some maybe there's some like setting that I that I haven't set properly um somewhere. Cause if I can make the microphone go up higher without clipping, then I can turn the the, 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 the game up. Most people are saying it's fine. Hmm. I think it depends a lot if you if you're using speakers or if you're using headphones or not too. Uh, often people tell me you know that the sound is too quiet compared to your voice. And I turn it up, and then I watch the stream back later, and I can barely hear myself. Um, it's weird. Oh, we got another one! We got another one! We're not gonna do them all. Bird underwear? What is that? Oh, lucky. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, scissors. Isn't that just a murder weapon? Got some extra dimensional fan art here. What? from the Lucid Streamer. 3D Joe. <laughs> no, that's wrong. <laughs> is is it customary to, to, to cry while you're dabbing? I don't I don't I don't know what I don't know what you kids do these days. Are you supposed to cry while you're dabbing? our emote be from from this game i need to get the the, the lewd ryuji one done from persona 5 but what should our uh what should the one from this game be i don't know how no that's wrong could be could be an email but i think that's the meme that we're taking from this game for sure spent the whole day on it you're welcome thanks lucy streamer i like it Okay, we'll go down to 70 and then we'll stop. A black and white Makoto from, from Persona 5 might be good too. No, that's wrong face might be. Yeah, okay, maybe we could, we could do that. 
Minimize the repeated percentage by adding more coins. Yeah, but I, I get a bonus to get a free one every single time, right? And we're not getting that many repeats. I mean, we have to spend quite a few coins to get to get a to get a full chance of, of, of completely new. So I don't think it's worth it. I think I think at a certain point it's probably worth it, but right now not not really. A hoodie. Nice. Okay, two more and then we're done. Another murder weapon. Alright. Oh, sorry, one more. Okay, let's go. All right, so who do you want to hang out with in free time? Probably Kyoko again, right? I like Kyoko. Kyoko is my new waifu, but maybe I should trust my instincts and and try and hang and hang out with Aoi because I think I think Aoi is gonna be dead. Aoi's gonna get an Aoi. Should we hang out with Hifumi? What kind of train wreck would that be? All right, what what present would Hifumi like? Bird seed? What? Oh, would Sayaka like that? The crane, the crane, Makoto. You gave me bird seed because of the crane. Hair clip. Glasses? They say that wearing these while performing incantations will help will help you better speak with the target of your spell. Okay, so that's good for, for, for Danny. Alright. Slippers. Slippers with a small wheel installed in each heel. They were invented to move easily around the house, but there's absolutely no demand for them. Yeah, I don't think so. This is a way to die. A loincloth meant to emphasize one's manliness. Its simple design features a single leaf overlay of white cloth. So that's probably probably Mondo would like that, I think. Or Hifumi. One of the most popular items from Gothic Lolita designer, uh, Ina Bauer. Hmm, I wonder who might like that. Hmm. Hmm, Gothic Lolita designer. Hmm. I'm not sure who would like that. Um, designed solely for those in control of their buttocks. For better or worse, it's unisex. All right then, a bra designed to slip over your hand. Yeah, okay. A collective figure of Princess Piggles, the popular heroine from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Hmm, I wonder who might like that one. I wonder who. A figurine of the popular TV personality who hosted Lost and Forbidden Love Fantasy Outer Space. Okay, that one I don't know. That's, that's obviously Hifumi. I don't know, like Hifumi again maybe? I don't know, I don't know who, who wants that one. Maybe, maybe the programmer girl? Since Hope's Peak Academy doesn't have a barber, the students are responsible for cutting their own hair. Yeah, why would I give anyone a murder weapon? Why the hell would I do that? Are the colors clues in the background? A specialized set of scissors used to create advanced styling designs. Watch the edges. A dark red seat cover. Its refined design is intended for only the most elite clientele. Catchy. A dried out plant seen in many Western films. Danny, a dandelion toy. You can blow the fluff away and the attached string will pull it back so you can do it over and over and over again. Yeah, I don't think so. A small rose stored inside a test tube. It's good for both uh, hellos and farewells. In the language of flowers, a red rose means passionate love. Ooh, that's for, that's for our waifu. A whip. I don't think uh, Kyoko liked the whip. Created with high-tech future technology, a single shot can melt every molecule on a fully grown human. There aren't many... There aren't any batteries, though, so you can't fire it. A replica of the gun preferred by a famous assassin. It's not really much good by itself. You can't even cock it. All right, I think I'm going to give that to Kyoko. Donning this armor bestows the wearer with immense power, but at the cost of their soul and senses. What? Why is, why is this? Let's wear that. A phone that for some unknown reason doesn't let you... Yeah, okay, we saw that one already. A baseball-shaped 
velocity measurement machine. Throw it to measure your speed, but uh, don't throw it at the wall. A golden sculpture said to represent a plane or spaceship. It was found in ruins in Colombia dated around 1000 CE, common era, indicating to some that this represents an oop art. What? Okay. A rock taken from the Sea of Tranquility on the moon by the astronauts on Apollo 11. Its composition is apparently unusual for it. Or something. What, what do you mean? It's, 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 it's a fucking rock from moon rock. Like an actual moon rock. Like a replica of it, right? Who's filling up this vending machine? A little known book about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu that teaches high level shoulder lock techniques. Omoplata is another word for the scapula or shoulder blade. Hmm. A mature game designed for the. Okay, we saw that one already. A thick book that has hints and codes for every game ever released. A must have for any true gaming fanatic. Alright, who likes video games? Is it Hifumi or is it the programmer girl? Available only. Okay, we saw that already. Flip the switch on the bottom to set the doll shaking. Apparently, it's a kid's toy, but I don't really get the point of it. No comment. The button from a school uniform, which increases in value as graduation approaches. In a few cases, reservation reservations are necessary. Thin edible film made from starch. It's commonly used as a candy wrapper, but also helps cover up the taste of bitter medicine. Ooh. Drug someone. Two tickets that advertise a whirlwind tour of Moo with the ancients for four days and three nights. Uh, Moo is like a... Lost civilization of the water or something, isn't it? Like... Like a sunken Atlantis kind of deal, isn't it? Used to distribute a full-length novel based on... Yeah, we saw that already. As soon as you put this on, you'll feel like you can take on any challenge. It resembles a stereotypical dinosaur. Damn. Proof that you've cleared the prologue. It's a patch that displays the Hope's Peak Academy school crest. Proof that you've cleared chapter one. The name really doesn't sound pleasant. It creates a foreboding sense that something very bad has begun to spare back. Is that it? Anything else? Okay. Ooh, Coca-Cola. Okay, so should we should we hang out with Hifumi? Or should we hang out with Aoi? Should we hang out with um with Kyoko? Can we go into the, can we go into the back room that, that Ketchi wouldn't let us into before? Uh Risi Nisi is used finally to say, look at the map to see where characters are. Oh really? Neat. Okay, thank you. Okay, so it doesn't show them exactly where they are, it just shows them which floor, uh, which 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 main area they're in. Okay, because I didn't even see Sayori anywhere. And okay, all right, thank you. Hmm. Hey you. Oh, hmm. I can't concentrate with you here, kindly. Okay, what are you hiding in here? What's in here that you don't want me to see, Akechi? Seems to really be focused on that book. Now's not a really good time to talk to him. Okay, you can't hang out with Akechi. Goddamn. Goddamn. Kyoko's in 2B. Is she? Okay, well, that seals the deal. We're hanging out with Kyoko. We're hanging out with Kyoko. Hey, Kyoko. Woo. I have a golden gun for you. I have to put all my energy into watching out for myself. I don't have time to worry about anyone else. Hmm, should I talk to you for a while? Absolutely. Correct. You want to spend time with me? However... I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? Rainy Day Wednesdays with Kyoko. I spent some time with Kyoko in silence. <laughs> she wasn't kidding. What? what do you mean? We just sat here in silence the whole time? Would you like to give... Yeah, I want to give her the gun. We're going to give her the gun. Or should we give her another whip? Let's give her the, the, can we give her the, the despair bat? I don't know if you can give that shit away. I'm getting like a military vibe from her and I think maybe like 
Ray Gun is sort of like fucked up. Golden Gun. I don't know. Golden Gun is like James Bond, isn't it? Is there anything else that's kind of military? She might like scissors as a weapon. She might appreciate the weapon. Bird seed. Royal curry. Ration? She might like the ration. Ration is a bit more. Like what's 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 that? A set of canned vac uh, and vacuum seal food stuff that taste isn't bad, and certain snakes that enjoy hide and go seek it are just crazy about it. Now I'm going with the gun. I'm going with the gun. I'm going with the gun. Next time we can try ration. What's an oblat? Oh, that was the stuff. Okay. Where's a cactus? Where's a mini cactus? We need to give her a mini cactus. Mm -hmm. Well, now this is interesting. I must admit, I'm intrigued. Can I hold on to it? Oh, she liked it. She liked it. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, um, Kyoko. And? If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's no need for it. But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like we're if we're gonna get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. You could certainly make the argument that forming friendships may help prevent killing. So... But are you asking for some kind of deep connection? Huh? Because... You could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friend so you can gather information. No, that's not... Why? Well then, let's do a quick test, shall we? A test? That's right. If you're, a g if you're as gung-ho on friendship as you claim, this should be an easy question. Oh, okay. So I just have to answer your question, is that it? So then... Are you ready? You consider Hina one of your friends, yes? And? If that's true, what's her ultimate ability? That's an easy one. Hina's ultimate ability... She's training for the Olympics and... Nice body! Swimming! She's the ultimate She's the ultimate swimmer. That's, her, that's what she specializes in, isn't it? Nice body. I'm pretty sure it's swimming. I want to say nice body. <laughs> Keen is the ultimate swimming pro, of course. Correct. Well, asked and answered. It would seem... Then, your pleas of camaraderie are true. Really? That was your question? Damn. Do you want to go right upside down on the wall? Of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Damn, I'm, 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 I'm glad we passed that test. Such a foolishly open person as you could never lie. Everyone would know right away. Again, with that foolishly open stuff. So then... Okay, then, as promised, what would you like to know about me? Oh, um, let's see. What school did you used to go to before you came here? So... Before I came here? I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Was it an exchange program or do your parents work overseas or something? My parents? I suppose. Wow, the question marks. Anyway, okay, so she was living abroad because of her dad's job. So what kind of work does he do? Foreign government? Top secret clearance? Okay. Is she a spy? Is she like a secret agent? <sighs> or she's the, the, the daughter of a secret agent? And she's aspiring to be it? More question marks? Okay, so he does top secret work for other governments. All I can think of is assassin. Woo. I kept my end of the deal. Goodbye. This should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. She left without even waiting for a reply. She's so full of mystery. And hearing what she had to say just added even more mystery on top of everything. Just mystery on mystery. Kyoko's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. But no, no skill thing. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Even more free time. There's still plenty of time left. I can't just sit around. I should head out. All right, who should we... Who should we hang out with now? Is it still free time or is it? Or is it story time? Okay, so she's in her room. You're in your room. You're in the bathroom. Do I even want to know? You're doing laundry. You're in the dressing room. I'm gonna go hang out with Aoi. Are they in the... Sorry, are they in the bath or are they in the... Uh, 
dining hall. Dining hall. I'm gonna hang out with Owie. Wait, do I have anything Owie would like as a present? What would Owie like? I mean, maybe the kitten hair clip. The thong, maybe? Yeah, we're gonna give her the thong unless there's something better. Should we give her the the, the totally not a vibrator? Thank you, Darkling Second, for the 50 bits. Why would I give anyone a murder weapon? Two minutes later, what should I give her? I'm going with the gun. It doesn't have, it doesn't have bullets. It doesn't have bullets. It, it, they're empty. They're empty. I mean, I guess you could still knock someone ahead with it. Okay, you got me. You got me. You got me. You got me. There's fan art. The loosest streamer's girlfriend made fan art. Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Why? Why would you do this? <laughs> Joe is not a waifu. Joe's not a waifu. No. No waifu Joe. No waifu Joe. No. No waifu. No. I do not support the wa the, the, the waifu occasion of, of myself. No. Joe not a waifu. Oh god. Oh god. I mean, thank you, but no waifu. No waifu. Should we become friends with Sakura? Because I, I feel like that could really come in handy. <sighs> no waifu. The key is not... The key is not the will to win. Everybody has that. It's the will to prepare to win that's important. Yeah. That's a quote from the famous basketball coach, Bobby Knight. Okay. So it's like, we have to work hard, you know? Hmm, should I talk to Hina for a while? Yeah, let's spend some time okay. with Hina. I was thinking of going to the pool for a quick dip. You should come with me. Really? I went for a swim with Hina. We don't get to see it? Wow, this game sucks. He and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's give her a present. Let's give her a present. All right, let's give her... What did we say we're going to give her? We're gonna give her. Someone in the chat said give her food. But that's not funny. Giving her the thong is funny. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! Nope. Can't think of a single thing this is good for. What do you mean? I, I, th I think I made her mad. She probably thinks worse of me now. Really? You can give bad presents? Oh man, oh man. What's up? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. I'm getting fired up. What? How come? <laughs> How come doesn't matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. That's right. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. What's your deal? Huh? Hey, are you making fun of me? No, no. I'm just impressed. Mm. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? Yeah. Why is that orange or yellow? Yeah, like he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. Mm. If you lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Wow, you did stuff like that and didn't get sick? You got it all Getting wrong. sickness for the week. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. Sure, it's all part of your training. Don't come to Moncton. Training, huh? Hmm. So, like, are you the type who gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. Hmm. See, you're soft. You need more training. Okay. Okay, I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you as fit as a fiddle. Huh? What kind of remedy? Yeah. Actually, I do this myself every morning. Go on. You just strip down your waist, go on, then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. Oh my god, what? I call it torture. I call it, uh, huh? what do I call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. Let's take a shot at this. Yoga? Yoga, it's, yeah, it's yoga. Yep, totally, totally yoga. Towel treatment, bamboo beat down. All right, so it's clearly, Clearly bamboo beat down. No, it's just towel treat. Yoga? Yoga. Towel treatment. 
Is this something like towel treatment? You got it. Oh my god, yeah, that's it. I love going out on my apartment balcony, stripping down, feeling the wind on my skin, and doing some good old-fashioned towel treatment. God, it feels so amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting a good rub. <laughs> All right, there it is. I was wondering if it was being sincere or not, but there it is. There's the line. Okay, yeah, they, they knew what they were doing. All right, there it is. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, chat, why? Why? Wait, so you went on your balcony and stripped down, and you're okay with that? <laughs> you should give it a try. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. Why didn't you like the thong I gave you then? I hate to see you catch cold or something. He and his report card has been updated based on your experience with it. Does it, does it, does it say? Does the report card said? Oh, I learned that she likes to go on her balcony and fucking strip down and beat herself off with a towel. Getting sick is- oh no, it's just the super spaz part. Okay. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. Do, 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 do. Ding dong, bing bong. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. This is the bear that has us all trapped here, by the way, if you haven't, if you, if you didn't see the previous streams. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Another day gone, but even though today's over, this game definitely isn't. How long is this going to keep going? All the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. I can't help it, I just gaze with intensity. The other day, I rode my bike to the train station. I was All in right. the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. That, that's the whole story? That's it. That's where it ends. Okay. All right, then. Uh, thank you, uh, Rango is my mango for the new sub with Prime. Thank you very much. Rango is my mango. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you very much. And thank you, Moon Runes 2011 for the new sub with Prime as well. Thank you very much to both of you. Rango is my mango and Moon Runes 2011. Thank you very much. Good morning. Everyone, it is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. What's behind his 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 eye? Is it looks it looks like the same thing that's in his glass, only a little darker. I Maybe mean, that's just because of the screen that's there. What's behind his eye? Like demonic portal keep powering him or something like what's back there get ready to greet another well i guess i better head to the dining hall for anything else. no we don't need to do that anymore no we don't need to do that anymore well show me where everyone is right now to the breakfast meeting same as always but <clears throat> is this everyone it feels a little small akechi and toko had stormed off yesterday and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today even the table looks bigger somehow <sighs> i assume that is because three people are dead and two are abstaining yeah with five people missing i guess it would feel kind of empty hmm. still i know bayakuya is whatever did you enjoy your towel treatment this morning aoi did you have a good rub down Still, I know, uh, Akechi's whatever, but shouldn't we go check on Toko? For serious? I vote no. She's super annoying. I agree. <laughs> 
How can you be so cold? You are like a piece of rock candy, I agree. You hear me? What? No. What? No, rock candy isn't cold. It's sweet. <sighs> anyway, Akechi is a real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. Huh? I agree. We've got no choice. Get some rope. We're going to have to keep him bound and gagged. I think that's going a little overboard. Count on it. He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns loose cannon. It's just like when we were kids and someone would go crazy at sports day or whatever. What? What the fuck are you talking about? You gonna use the rope to do tug of war or something? Idiot. It can't be. I'm not an idiot. Yo! You're an idiot. Got him. D Damn you. Who are you calling stupid? Huh? And now it's back again? Okay. No, internet's fine. I don't know what's happening. Maybe I'm gonna have to restart OBS. Okay, I see it's back again now. Alright, I'm gonna give it a minute or two and then we'll see. Twitch might be dying. It's definitely not Twitch. It's uh it's it's on um it's on my end, it's OBS. Okay, um, let's take five minutes. Um, it's early break, but let's take five minutes because I don't want to continue if it's going to break. So let's take five minutes and we'll be back. I know it's really early break, but, but I, I don't want to risk it. So, yeah. If it crashes again, yeah. Okay. So five minutes, everybody. Sorry about this, but I don't want to continue if it's going to break, okay?
Okay, so apparently the internet did go down for a flash there. So maybe that's what it was. Um, what uh, what was it like while I was gone? Was it st was it stable? Was anyone here the whole time and it was okay? It was fine. Whoops! I just moved that. Sorry. That's gonna look weird. <laughs> Okay, we're all good? All right. So I'll say quickly thank you to uh, the new subs and then we'll continue. Uh, thank you, Nigel Migel for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Nigel Migel. I like your name, thank you very much. Thank you, Boof Choof for the former three sub. Joe is my new waifu. No, no, you get your, uh, your zero W zero face out of here. Joe, not a waifu. Joe is not a waifu, no. Joe is not a waifu, no waifu Joe, no waifu Joe, no. Thank you, Boof Choof. Thank you, Winstone the Stin? Or Winston Thestin? Winston Thestin? Sorry, I don't have capital letters. But thank you very much for the new Subway Prime. Thank you very much, thank you. Winston, Winston Thestin? Winston Thestin? That must be it. Thank you, uh, Dimic97, for 6,600 bits. Maybe this will fix your internet, Joe. It'll goddamn pay for the internet. Holy shit. Thank you very much. Holy fuck. Thank you. That's very generous. Thank you, th thank you, Dimic97. Thank you. Can you be my Gaifu instead? Is that I thought it was Husbando. I'm I'm uh, I'm 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 Lily's husband though. I'm sorry. I'm taken. I'm taken. You've seen 3D Joe. You've seen Waifu Joe. But how would you feel if I made 3D Waifu Joe? Can you can a Waifu be 3D? Is isn't a Waifu 2D only? Or can your Waifu be any 3D? A any character, 3D or 2D? I'm just proud you're dating Morgana in this game. Wait, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? Two B is three D, but isn't isn't three D like reality? Owie is Morgana's voice actress. What? Cassandra Lee Morris? Furious typing. Cassandra Lee Morris. Video game. Persona 5 Morgana. Dankan Rampa. Owie Ash. Oh god. Oh god. Operator 6 0 in Near Tomina? All right, Owie's off the menu. I'm done. Done. Oh, it's two. The voice actor that is to be. Does 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 a voice in uh, Danganronpa too? Interesting. Okay. Who else is a voice actor in, in Dangar? Actually, you know what? That might be spoilers. Let's let's not look. Let's not look. Is it really Morgana? Oh, 
Am I gonna am I gonna be able to not he unhear it now? Okay, I'm curious. What? How's it my fault? Hey, come on. I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway, right? Right. Right. Okay. Right. Good. Uh, are are you crying? I mean, the the toughest character in here is probably Sakura, then then Kyoko. It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. Hey, come on. Don't cry. It's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. Hmm. Really? Not sure I can believe that. Huh? Just shut up. What? I got it. I'll make you a what? promise as a man. Huh? Promise as a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but... Oh, okay. You guys want me to go back? I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so when, when, did, when did it stop? When did it cut out? When did it cut out before we left? Was it who are you calling stupid? Who are you calling stupid? And then Chihiro says nothing. Makoto says, huh? What's wrong, Chihiro? You don't look so great. Oh, I'm just going through a little self-loathing. And then off, off, this is on the recording, but it's on the stream. I said, well, you know, what day is it? It could be scheduled. And then Makoto says, huh, self-loathing. Chihiro, well, after what Akechi said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous. I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Mondo ended up having to help me out. And even he said I was someone who can't fight back. I, I hate how weak I am. Uh, I see. So Mondo made you depressed, says Aoi. Or Morgana. Mondo says, what? How is it my fault? I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway, right? And then we're, then that's the context of what's going on. Okay. Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said that no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Um, left you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My brother's deed. Oh, I see. That's true. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make you all you guys cry. Yo. Anyway, so you can trust me when I make that promise, so you don't gotta cry anymore. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mondo. Uh, sure. Uh, but... But I still don't like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. If I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. Are you gonna kill someone later? And you're gonna be like, look, I'm finally strong. I'm finally strong. I'm finally strong. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um... No, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. <laughs> In that case, I would be happy to help you out anytime, Smooth Skin. But then, Miss Fujisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces. Just a second. Shut up, you. It is more. <sighs> now I hear it. I hear it. God damn you, chat. She's ruined. Oh, Aoi is like a. A, a hot waifu robot being powered by Morgana on on like like some foot pedals and some levers inside of her now in my head. God damn it, she's ruined. She's fucking ruined. Oh, wanna go outside? Aren't you tired? You should go to bed. Oh, oh, no, no, you wanna go to the baths? No, you can't. It's bedtime, you can't do that. Oh, it's raining, you should stay inside. Like, <sighs> Just imagine you played this first. Oh, wow. What would I think about Morgana? What, 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 would I want to star, star, star the cat? Nah, I don't think so. So, Morgana girl confirmed, right? Right? Morgana is a girl confirmed. That's it, right? Morgana is payback for crosshair and pray you did this to yourself. <laughs> well played, chat. Well played. Tim Foyle used to say, Looking cool, Makoto. Not them right off their feet. Nice Joker. Oh, that's Futaba. That's Futaba. That's Futaba. Is Futaba in this game too? They even have the same voices of the characters. Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, finally cracked a smile, huh? I see. Yeah. Thank you. Kyoko is on, really? Everyone, thank you. 
Looks like Chihiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man, if we keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. Yeah, someone's gonna die today. I mean, someday, I'm sure. Still, did, have, have they addressed that the window outside is fake yet? Or is that come up later? Or or did I miss it somewhere? Because I don't understand, like, like to me, there's a window, break it down. But they, they maybe there's a line of dialogue that I missed. Seems kind of important. Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two who never showed up to breakfast. What can I, what can I do to try and understand those two better? I don't know, hang out with them and give them presents. Okay, what should I do today? Not hang out with Aoi, because that's Morgana. Fuck that. Fuck that. We gave Morgana a thong. Oh, God. We gave Morgana a thong. For characters who can control their buttocks. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> 30 coins per day per items. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. That's it. Let's go spend. Let's go spend some more more coins for items. Good idea. I'm sure I'm sure all of chat supports this. Yeah, let's let's go do that. Okay, here, here's the problem. I, I want to, to do a vote to say, okay, who should we hang out with? Because I actually don't care right now. I don't have anyone that I really want to hang out with. Um, I want to do a vote, but I feel like if we do a vote, then then the, the, the person who dies next is going to win. Because people are going to vote for that to try and help me out a little bit. And they're going to want to see that. So I don't think we can do a vote, unfortunately, as much as I would like to do it. Um, so, oh wow, we're getting duplicates all over the place. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll just hang out with Hifumi, just 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 to see what that train wreck's like. Uh, thank you, Dashilgar, for the hundred bits. Did you did you know you are playing? You are a playable waifu in the totally real Joseph Anderson dating simulator. I think I think uh, uh, Squid was working on that, wasn't he? Squid the Sid. Coming to a Nintendo Switch near you. Creepy doll? <laughs> Go for characters you care about least so you learn more about them and like the characters more evenly that way this way deaths are on average more impactful that's actually not a bad idea all right who do i care about the least honestly probably hifumi or or the programmer girl Ooh, lucky nice we got we got it we got something new is lucky always a new one let's see What was that time? Yes, more bird seed. Should give it to Danny, it'd be super awkward. Hey Danny, here's some bird seed. Don't you have like a pet bird or something? Isn't that your thing? And he just like just glare at you like Now I'm grump. Was a game grump, game, game grumps joke there. Okay, I think I think maybe we need to dial it back here on here on the the, the Joey Anderson stream. We need to dial it back a little bit. Hey Joe, is Telltale Games and Grim Fandango actually games? Don't know, I haven't played them. No idea. It's honestly not really worth that much of a discussion, really. They're still they're still worthwhile. They're still good. Some some like this this story and this experience we're going through now with Danganronpa is is better than many games, you know, with with gameplay. It's just classifications are important, I think, but they're not 
crucial, let's have a big fucking fight about it important, you know? But some people take it so seriously. Okay, let's see. Is it always a new one when we get lucky? It was that time again. If it's always a new one when we get lucky, it's definitely worth it to, to, to just go one at a time. Okay, three more and then we're done. Were you serious about playing the next Danganronpa games? Yep! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Hey, have you started Witcher 3 yet? No, not yet. We're gonna be finishing God of War video, then I'm gonna make two to four videos that I already have, like, part, part way done. Um, they're shorter videos than the God of War video. Uh, and then I'm going to start Witcher, and we'll have Witcher done by the end of the year. Um, yep. Yeah. Just gonna go dark and do Witcher. Witcher 1, 2, 3, the DLC, and the books. What? Well, we did one extra. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Someone's mad in chat. I did extra one. I did, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. ETA on the God of War video. I'm hoping to still be at the end of the month, but it might be really, really, really early in August instead. But yeah, I'm hoping it's going to be the end of the month still. Okay, so who should we hang out with? Okay, it's Hifumi, it's Hifumi or or the girl. Okay. Let's do a poll. Poll. Poll new who should we hang out with? Um he Hifumi Programmer Girl. What the fuck is the programmer name? What's her name? We should probably have her name Chihiro. Okay, I can't remember how to do polls. I hope that's it. Okay, there we go. God damn. I thought Hifumi was a shoe in. Chihiro wins. God damn, like there's there's no coming back. There's no coming back from this. Okay, he Hifumi guys, if you wanna see Hifumi, you, you better start like, you know putting signs up out, outside houses and stuff to get this vote up, because it's like yeah, this okay, landslide to Ch Chihiro. Okay, so where's Chihiro? Okay, she's on the second floor. Alright. Darkling seconds. He's 50 bits to say. So about that towel rub down. <sighs> hey, Hifumi. Hey, how's it going? All right, where is she? Okay, here she is. All right. Okay, so does she like video games? Because if she likes video games, I know what we have to give her. But if not, I have no idea what to give her. Hello there. Okay. Hello there, Makoto. Hee hee hee. How nice to see you here. Hmm, should I hang out with you here for a little while? Yep. Yay! Hee <laughs> yay, I really like talking to you. Wow, her voice actor sounds dead. I spent some time talking with Chihiro. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to get Chihiro a pleasant? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, I, th I think she likes video games. Give her a black croissant, royal curry. I th I I'm, I'm taking a stab in the dark. I think that she has, I think she likes video games. So, I think she might like the, uh, the weird video game. Millennium Prize Problems? What? Whoa, 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 what's that? These seven important mathematical problems were posed by the Clay Mathematics Institute with a reward of $1 million each for one. So, okay, maybe she'll like that instead, because she's a programmer and we went for her numbers. I think she likes that instead. Okay, that, that, or, or, tips and tips. A thick book that has hints and codes for every game ever released and must have for any true game fanatic. No, a true gaming fanatic wouldn't use the tips and tips. Wouldn't, they wouldn't use it. They wouldn't use it. All right, I'm going with this one. I'm going with this one. Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever gotten something like this. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Yeah, yep, yeah, we're in, we're in. We're in. No. 
No. What's wrong, Chihiro? Um... Ah, uh, it hurts. Huh? Did you get hurt, Chihiro, when you fell from heaven? You know? Oh, well, not really. I got bit by a mosquito last night. What? How did it get in? How did a mosquito get in? There's no mosquitoes in here. How did a mosquito get into, into, the, into, into the school? A mosquito? Oh, I figured something serious had happened since you were saying how it- What? Huh? Oh, did I give you the wrong impression? Sorry. You don't have to apologize. It was my own fault. But you said it hurts. Did it really bite you that hard? Um... Do you want me to kiss it better? Yeah, see, look. She held out her arm. The huge red bump stood out clearly against her pale skin. Holy cow. What should I do? It's way past itchy now. It really hurts. Is it itchy tasty? But why is it so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? I have a really big mosquito bite too, actually. It's on, it's on my leg. I just, I just roll, I just rolled up my, my pant leg chat. Just want you to know. Yeah, I've, 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 a mosquito bit me right below my knee and then it bit me again right next to the first bite. And it's like combined to like this red kind of rash thing on, on my leg. It's really bad. It's really itchy too. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Probably a spider bite. Nah, it's, it's, it's a mosquito bite. I, I saw the mosquito when it, when it bit me. I killed, I killed the fucker too. Was it so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? Why would that matter? You're wrong. Oh, I guess because it would stay there longer. Oh, no, I was awake. But you didn't notice? Mm. No, I noticed, but... But what? You know? Well, I felt it bite me and I looked down at it. But I didn't do anything. I just sat there and watched it suck my blood. Alright, should have given her the whip. Should have given her the whip. Alright, this girl's freaky. You just watched? Why didn't you smack it? Huh? Because that would have killed it, right? Well, yeah, but you know? it must have been really hungry to suck that much blood. If it was that hungry, it would have been really sad not to let it have anything. But it's just a mosquito. Um... Mosquitoes are living things too, though. It might have its own mosquito family. So sorry, I know that's dumb. No, really, you don't have to apologize. But don't go scratching it, okay? That'll just make things worse. But... But what if it gets so itchy I can't take it? Well, in that case, just take the tip of your fingernail and push it into the bump. That'll help. Huh? What? Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> You're so smart, Makoto. Nah, it's not working, Makoto. It's making it worse. Yeah, now it hurts even more. Now it's even more itchy, Makoto. Makoto, you're a fucking idiot. No, that's wrong! As she said that, she smiled like a tiny, cute little animal. I wonder if she does that on purpose. If so, that's a whole other level of scary. Mm. But anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange? Huh? What is? You know? Well, this school is completely sealed off, right? So how did Mosquito get it? Exactly! Maybe there's somewhere here in the school where bugs can live and grow. Some kind of nature-y spot. A nature-y place in the school? Well, I can't say for sure that there's not. Uh. Or, 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 maybe there's a secret passage somewhere that leads out of the school. Or maybe there's like a cell- Maybe the school is like- has a courtyard in the middle that you still can't get out of, but they can fly in or something. A secret passage. Well, even if there's not, I'm sure we'll get out of here somehow. Somehow. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> You're right. Working together is super important. What? Of course, I don't know how it can be useful. I'll probably just weigh you all down. That's not true. It makes me feel way better knowing you're here to help. Huh? It does, really? Yep. So let's all do our best, okay? Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Makoto. Chihiro's report card has been updated. Is it? Is it? Is it? She has a mosquito bite? Is it? The, the mos mosquito watch. Fucking t 2017. I know we need to work together to get out of here, but I feel okay. No, it's not. It's fine. Okay. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Do we have more free time? There's still time left in the day. I don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll go explore. Okay, so who should we hang out with now? Should we, should we, should we go with uh, uh, Chihiro again, or should we do Hifumi? Or, okay, who, who, I, I, I like the idea of doing who you care about the least so you find out more about them. Who do I care about the least? 
I really don't like this guy. So maybe we should go and hang out with, with Hitler, dude. Mondo, I kind of like. Hifumi is just a, a train wreck. Um, yeah, I don't really care about Danny. Um, Kyoko, I like a lot. Aoi, I still kind of like a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, Toko is, 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 is nuts and kind of fun. I like Sakura. I like Celeste. She's fucked up. Um, Shakira. Okay, so it's between... Let's, let's hang out with Hitler guy. Shiotaka. Let's hang out with Shiotaka. Alright, where is he? Okay, so he's in... Is he in the laundry or is he in the bath? He's in the laundry. I have never been more wrong. I have never been more wrong. Wow, fucking On's picture there on the top. Did I misread the map? Oh, there's more. Of course, there's more. There's more than one thing in there. Okay, he's in the bath. Okay. I've been really worried about something. Are we going to have? Midterms or finals or anything? What the heck? Actually, are we going to have any classes at all? A student can only truly shine when he has, has when he has the opportunity to buckle down, study hard, and succeed. Hmm, should I hang out with Taka? Well, after that, not really. But okay, let's do it. <laughs> well, I suppose we should take a break once in a while. Let's partake in, in of some, let's partake of some of my delicious tea. Oh, I have some tea. Do you want some tea? We went to the dining hall and Taka made us some of his delicious tea. And now I'm poisoned dead. Taka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Taka a present? Yeah, I do. I do. Okay, do you, do you want some tea? I have some tea right here. Do you want some rose hip tea or civet coffee? Do you want some... I feel like I should give you some rose hip tea. Is there anything else? He likes school. He likes order. Do we have a swastika? No. Okay, glasses? No, those are for... For, um... For, uh... For, for Danny, right? g sick. Most people consider a throwaway watch to this poor quality still. It enjoys a massive public... Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, roller slippers so he can get around faster. Fresh bindings and... Oh, the thong. Water lover? What? A comp... Aw, oh, god damn it. Now we have to hang out with Aoi and give the give her the water lover thing. Uh, scissors? Like, he, he probably likes to keep his, his, his hair, like, really neat and tidy, right? So he'd probably like that. Tumbleweed. Um, you might like a sword. Mr. Fastball. Moon Rock. Okay, I'm thinking T. The second button? I'm thinking T. Let's give him T. Rose Hip T. A herbal tea said to promote beauty and wellness. You can. Yeah, okay, let's give him that. I see! Hmm, maybe I was wrong about you, Makoto. Let's continue to deepen our relationship, shall we? Does that mean he liked it? Oh, he liked hmm. it. We're going deep. Hey, Makoto, as long as we're talking, let's really talk. What do you say? Huh? Oh, sure, that's fine. Hmm. Excellent. You hear me? Then let's get down to brass tacks and find out where we stand on all the big issues. So, what should we discuss? Politics, the economy, international affairs? Wait, hold on. Instead of a big, serious discussion, can't we just have a normal conversation? That's the best way to learn about people, I think. <clears throat> What's your Twitter handle? What do you mean by a normal conversation? Um, well, for example, what you like to do in your spare time? Listen to me. Study, of course. I'm a student, aren't I? A student must be studying. Must be a studying professional. And of course, my duties as the chairperson of the morals committee keep me quite busy as well. You understand? It's my duty to foster an environment in which we can all focus on our studies. Okay, but what else? Like when you're at home, or you just have some time to kill. Hmm. If I have time to kill, I study. I see. <laughs> Aha, this is fun. Okay, my turn, Makoto. What do you like to do in your spare time? Um, you know, just normal stuff. Watch TV, play video games. I beat myself off with a towel. But I would call it towel treatment. I tried it. It was really good. You should try it. Mm. Huh. And this mm. helps you study? How? No, no, it's not about studying. It's about... It's just for fun, you know? That's wrong! But doing things just for fun serves no purpose. There must be more to it. You wouldn't spend your valuable time doing something useless, would you? Wait. Wait. Y y he can insist all he wants, but in the end. But maybe there is a good reason, like getting into something and talking to people about it. So maybe, actually, it is studying. Seriously, uh, relating to your friends. Right? Relating to your friends. You know how it's useful? It helps give you something to talk about with other people. <clears throat> something to talk about? 
like when you see something awesome on TV or some awesome game and you want to share it with someone, you find other people who feel the same way and that's how you make friends, see? It can't be. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is ridiculous! I once was blind, but now I see. What the heck? How unfortunate. That kind of thing has played me for years. Whoa, look at all the, the every, uh, every uh, fucking tears coming out of every hole. What the hell? I tried making friends, but whenever I would make conversation, it would die after a few minutes. And now I finally found the answer. I see! I need to study more games, more TV shows. No, 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 you don't need to study them. Uh, I'm so ashamed of myself. Oh, it's still happening. If there was a hole somewhere around here, I'd totally go hide in it and make it really wet. I'd let it get to me. I waste all that time. I never saw the blind spot in my studies. I'm a complete embarrassment. I'm not qualified to even be on the morals committee, let alone lead it. Uh, I don't think it's really that big of a deal. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Makoto. Professor? Mm. You've taught me a most valuable lesson. You've earned my respect and the title of Professor. That's gonna make things super awkward. Ha 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 ha. There's no need to be modest, Professor. I can't wait for your next lesson, and until then, I will strive to learn as much as I can on my own. Mm. Well then, Professor, by your leave. Without waiting for a reply, Taka ran off. Professor. Although, thinking about it, I didn't totally hate it. Professor Makoto. You just unlocked this skill, Attentive Influence. Give yourself a pal on the back. Already? We got a skill from him in one shot? Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Rip. See you later, Hitler, dude. He's deed. I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I better get something to eat before it's nighttime. I should get head to the dining hall then, I guess. Oh, the Undertale music's back. Oh, we're not done. There's no star. Okay, we're not done. Okay. All right, he's not dead. He's not dead. A student must try to be studying, be a studying professional. That's my motto. Studying is necessary, even when, even to have everyday conversations with other students. Okay, let's go get some food. Okay, it's weird that it's letting us do something here. Okay, so is someone gonna is someone gonna die? I just wanted to get something to eat, and now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no, I guess I'm already roped in. Listen to me. Hey, Makoto, perfect timing. Huh? What's going on? Hey, damn it! I have a favor to ask. A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Alright. Where are the coins? Alright. Listen to me! You came at just the right time. I must ask for your full cooperation. Hey, damn Come it! Come on, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. Witness to what? What? This guy's been talking shit about me since day one, calling me a coward and shit like that. You're corrupt! You are a coward. That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems. You! That's why you can't do what society asks of you, why you walk around dressed like that. Huh? The fuck you say? Yeah. You don't know shit. You hear me? You've already lost to yourself. But you're such a coward you don't even realize it. D damn so you! So what? You're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? Count on it! I know I am. You wanna fight? Okay then, let's throw down. Prove you got what I don't got. You hear me? I accept your challenge. What? So that's what's happening? So that's what's happening, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw down? You're not gonna, like, start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a sauna inside? I see! I see. A simple endurance contest, is it? Got it! We're going to see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Piece of shit! Goddamn straight. Well, it's nighttime soon. It's nighttime soon. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you guys really going to go through with this? Stop fucking around! Shit, yeah. Shit, yeah. You! He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are, without exception, all talk. You want to throw down? Bring it on. Hell, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting. You son of a bitch! We're gonna battle with all our clothes on. Ridiculous! That, that's idiotic. Suicidal. You wanna fight? What? You afraid? You're mm -hmm. going to regret this. Stop fucking around! Stop fucking around. Shut up and let's do this. Um, hey, Mondo. Well, his... 
I mean, he doesn't have his clothes on. Did he... Um... Hey, hey, Mondo. What asshole. What asshole. You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. <laughs> I didn't realize his hair stuck out that far. Look how far his head sticks out. He's like a dinosaur, man. What the fuck is with his hair? Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? Hot spring monkeys. It just so happens I was born with a red face. You don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good, I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. Are they okay? I try to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed, then a few dozen minutes, and then they both died in there, and the, <laughs> the, the, the team comes out. <laughs> it's like, oh, Makoto killed them. He trapped them both in the sauna room. He's trying, he, he's the black and time to do a trial. Oh, no, no, no. They were doing a contest and and one of them got naked and the other one kept his clothes on. No, no, those are just stupid details. You're, you're, you're done. You're done, Makoto. You're done. Then an hour. Don't you think it's about time you gave up? Mondo's VA is Shido in Persona 5. I knew it. I said that yesterday or the day before. Or last stream. I said, thanks, Shido. I thought he was Shido. I thought for sure. What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. That's probably not good. Hey, uh, guys, I know you both want to prove how big of bad- how big of badasses you are. Want to prove how big of badasses you are. What? But, don't you think you've done enough? Shut up! Shut up. God, I just can't win. Ding dong, bing bong. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Why is the dining hall the only place that gets locked? Okay then, sweet dreams every- Hey, did you hear that? It's night time, how about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. You win, or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. Listen to you, you son of a bitch. Then bring it on. I'll, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. The gates of hell? That's not a good place to push someone. <sighs> this, this isn't good, guys. Uh, uh. Yeah, you hear him? Better crawl on back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my, my legend. <laughs> Come tomorrow morning, you'll fall down in front of me. Down on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode right back at you. Okay, well, good night then. <laughs> He's just leaving. I really hope those two don't overdo it, but I'm sure to the death. No, surely they wouldn't go that far. The concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. Monokuma Theater. All right, last time we we're in the bathroom. If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, 
Is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive! Because I don't know! That's why I desperately cling to life! Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet us! Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. I hope they didn't. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual, and they were sitting there just having a, you know, a nice leisurely conversation. They're, they're best friends now. And when I entered... <laughs> bah ha ha, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What the... Yo! Hey, Makoto. Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Huh? Are they friends now? <sighs> They've been like this all morning. They were buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. Yeah, Morgana. What? Feels gross. Hell no. Feels great, more like... Oh, oh they banged. Okay. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. Nah, they're not in, they're, they're, they're into each other, not you, Morgana. <laughs> Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. You hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman can never understand. Ain't that right. What you just said, bro, that was cool <laughs> shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Without a doubt. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. So, um... Who won the contest? Piece of shit! Who gives a shit? Got it! Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men... Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like uh, what I'm used to with girls. <sighs> yeah, for real. For real! Morgana said for real. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. So what should I do today? Ding dong! Hmm? Who could that be? Wondering who would come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. Oh no. Alright, well, Makoto. Where's your sword, Makoto? Alright, alright. See you later, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <sighs> Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so, so surprised? Am I really that an annoying? <laughs> well, well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it uh, okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. <laughs> I have a f f f f favor to ask. I want you to g g go somewhere with me. And where is it you want to go? Well, 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 the library. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just go ask Akechi? He spends all his time in library anyway. That's why I want you to go with me, because I need because he's a dick and I don't want him to go there by myself. <laughs> did did I say something wrong? You, you're not a b b b blabbermouth, right? This ha ha has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. But if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> then let's go to the library. Okay, I got it. To the library. Jeez, why so pushy? Oh jeez, Rick. <laughs> C -c quiet. Be quiet when you go go it. <laughs> don't, don't don't let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Akechi was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. <laughs> He's really here. You sound excited, Toko. Okay, Makoto, go talk to him. What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. I think Toko wants to bang Akechi. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Come on, just talk to him. All right, I'm going in the room. What are you doing over there? I told you, go go and talk to him. He seems 
to really be focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. Ah, so you noticed me, Naturally. Huh? Of course, now hurry up and leave. <laughs> and take her with you. <laughs> hey, um, Akechi? Remember how... <laughs> remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men, be a woman dominated by a strong man? When did... when did he say that? <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. <laughs> Get out. And go take a bath, you smell. <laughs> Don't make me repeat Don't myself. Don't say it again. Go now, before your stench latches onto the entire room. God damn, what, what, what a Chad. What a Chad. Chad Ketchy. That's his new name, Chad Ketchy. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. You're not, you're not a Stacy. Get out of here. Get out of here. He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? <laughs> Chad Ketchy, to go that far. <laughs> he must be really concerned about me. Huh? He told me to, to take a bath and everything. He must really care ab about my well-being. <sighs> hey, Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Chad Ketchy and I would be a good good th together? Um, well now, I, I, I don't know. Maybe. Damn, she's she she's 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 thirsty. Goddamn. <clears throat> she's thirsty. That's too true. There's really no way way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. Okay. Yeah, this is to totally Yuri, huh? Totally. There might come a day when you understand. Maybe it's someday. Well, bye. All right, let's go hang out with her. Ah, <laughs> uh, young love. Wah! Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? Shing! But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. Ba 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 ba. I like his music. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. There's still some time left in the day. What to do? We're gonna go hang out with Crazy Yuri. Where is she? Where is she? Give her some soap. Oh, uh, we should go. We should go get the rest of the presents, right? Go get some soap on a rope. Joe, stop? What? Joe, stop what? Ooh, that's a new one. Nice. Give us your waifu tier list while we're getting presents in the, in this game. Uh, I like Sayaka. I, I I like I like Sayaka's attitude. Uh, she tried to pin a murder on us, so that just shows like that she she has she has some spunk and intelligence, and and she's resourceful. That just makes me respect her even more. Yeah, that, that didn't turn me off. So, so, so Sayaka is my favorite. She's also unattainable now, so that makes her even better. Um, so so Sayaka Sayaka top tier. Uh, I really like Kyoko, so Kyoko's probably number two. Um, despite the voice actress, Aoi's probably number three. Um, and then I don't know after that. After, after that, it's kind of, kind of, eh. Like, I, th th there isn't really one after that. We didn't really get to know Junko that much. We didn't really get to know, um, Ch Chihiro yet all that much. Toko is, is clearly, clearly into Chad Ketchy, and, and that just puts me off. Screw that. I'm, I'm, I'm not fully convinced Celeste is actually a girl, so, um, I don't really like Celeste all that much. 
Um, I like Sakura's attitude and everything. Sa 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 Sakura's personality and attitude is, is really, really good. So I'm gonna say, um, uh, Sayaka, then, um, then Kyoko, then, then Aoi. What? What are you guys talking about in chat? What, what, what? The fuck was that? Did you really make Gotham a, a goddamn Nightbot spam list? Really? Got the 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 Bofa clip is now someone that shows up in chat as as the chat as the streams go on. Wow. Oh shit! Oh no! No no! I hit the button wrong. I hit the button wrong. Shit! No! Oh god! We just spent a bunch of points. No! And we didn't even get a new one. Oh, we got an achievement for it. Okay, that's good. We got an achievement. How did I do that? Oh, if you hold the right mouse button down and go like that and go, okay, that's how it does it then. All right, I didn't know that. All right, whatever. Whatever. I spent 10 coins by accident. Reload, reload for coins. Reload for coins. Mixed man, I use 400 bits. Thank you very much. To say you have gone through 70% of your income already, it's time to stop. That time the lucky one wasn't a new one, so lucky isn't always a new one. Okay. Thank you for the bits. We're spending all of our coins. All of the coins are going. Why is your voice so much different here? What do you mean? Different on stream than on uh, on on the videos, you mean? Because uh, this is just my my more you know relaxed normal speaking voice, whereas in um, in in uh, in the videos I I'm reading right, and I'm trying to be more you know give a more straight presentation. You know what I mean? Like a bit more formal. I'm also not that good at reading um, out loud uh, and sounding engaged, so that's why I sound so different. Yeah, that's probably. But if you're talking about between streams, I don't know, like. Uh, my voice will sound different depending on if I'm tired or not, if I've been speaking a lot that day. Um, maybe even what, what mood I'm in, that sort of thing. There's fan art? Okay, hold on. Wait, ain't that bad? Is that it? No. You put... You 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 put you put the hand bra and the and the thong on Morgana from Persona 5. I'm closing this. I'm closing this. That's it. I'm done. I'm ne I'm ne I hope I never see that again. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? I'm so sad about Aoi. I'm so sad. All right. Hey Celeste. Most unfortunate. Does this school not have a dry cleaning service? How terribly upsetting. Uh, how, what am I supposed to do if my clothes become soiled? Hmm, should I hang out with Celeste for a while? Nope! Alright, let's see. So should we should we continue a storyline with somebody or should we go with someone new? Should we like rotate them out? I kind of want to hang out with Sakura for, for for one time. I kind of want to hang out with Toko. But should we should we should we finish some stories with someone? Should we go hang out with Morgana? Oh, we have Morgana's swimsuit now. These two are best friends, Sakura and, and Aoi. Let's go hang out with Aoi. I want to hang out with Aoi. I like Aoi still. The Morgana thing hasn't ruined Aoi. Uh, thank you, Subtropics, for the five month reset. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Subtropics. Uh, once again, I'm I'm trying to give a uh, quick thank yous today uh, and during these streams with uh, with Dengenrapa to to move things along. 
Okay. Um, so if, if you would like a, a longer thank you or like one of the cringe, like welcome to the, to, to the waifu warehouse sort of thing, um, you may want to try and resub on, on, a, on a different day with a different game. Maybe I can start rotating waifu warehouse a little, a little faster. Weeaboo wagon. Each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true, is you true got it. teamwork. That's a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Matsuo. We gotta do the same thing, cooperate, so we can survive. Hmm, should I hang out with Hina? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. You wanna go for a run to relieve some of the stress? He and I went for a light run through the school. He and I grew a little closer to the Together, it's closer. What did we say? Oh, I missed it. Never mind. Doesn't matter. I hit the, hit the button too fast. Yes, definitely. Yeah, let's give her the swimsuit. Let's give her the swimsuit. Or, 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 we make the picture real and we give her the hand bra. Yeah, we'll give her the water lover. <laughs> Hehe, <laughs> how thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makoto. Oh, she likes us, she likes us. Or, I mean, not like, 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 not that kind of like. Seeing Ahina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Oh, she doesn't like us that well, though. That sucks. Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. Too much, too much towel treatment? Just a second! I'm stuck in here. Can't do any sports, can't do anything. I'm sick of it. Well, you can swim. I want to get out under the sun and do some laps, run a marathon. I want to do some real sports. Hikina, calm down, okay? What the heck? I can't do anything in here. If I can't move around, I'm gonna die like a bunny rabbit. But I always, but I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. That's terrible. Ooh, that was kind of smooth, Makoto. Oh shit, Mako Makoto busting out the moves. Did he did he learn something from from the exchange with Chad Ketchy? That that was pretty smooth. Well done. Whatever. I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? What the heck? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know. Why else would I have joined six six sports teams in school? Suggest the physical activity, Makoto. Six. That's right. Yeah, track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one. She got to her main sport but ran out of juice. I think that's got to be swimming. Going home? Bouldering? What? Her main sport is going home. Her main sport is bouldering. What the fuck is... Bouldering. Oh, it's climbing. Okay. Alright. I just didn't know was, uh, that's what it's called. Okay. Going home. Swimming. Your main sport is swimming, right? Hmm. Yeah, you got it. That actually looks fun, bouldering. Guy, I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in a pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard to do to do that many sports even for you? Well. If I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. Why is the music gone creepy? A challenge? Because, I mean... What I really love about... I just... It sounds like Morgana. Morgana so much. What I really love about sports isn't winning, you know? It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you got to reach the top. It's that excitement, that fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But... When you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was how hard she could fight and struggle. Um... Huh. So that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop? Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm a, I'm a super gold spaz. Did she just call herself? Okay. But if that's what you want, isn't it? Isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Huh? Excuses? Just a second! Hey, when did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try and see what you can do in here? <gasps> that... that's a challenge. You just made an official challenge. Yeah, totally! But I think you're right. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. 
Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. All right, I think I'm gonna go. Oh, she just fucked off. All right, I think I'm gonna go do some push-ups in my room, like maybe around a thousand or something. Or you could go and swim in the pool. Go swim in the pool. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. She recovered exactly as fast and strong as I would have expected. That was kind of that was that was really like assertive of Makoto. I'm surprised. All right, we got more skill points. Nice. Look at us go. She went home. <laughs> Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. All right, someone gonna die tomorrow. Uh, thank you, uh, Drainoso. Or Drainoso for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Drainoso. Thank you very much. And thank you, ABK129, for the new sub with Prime as well. Thank you, ABK129. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Prime Time to both of you. Welcome to the RoboDub Cell Club. Thank you so much. It's night time. Ahem. School announcement. School announcement. Oh, it's not night time. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Emergency! Emergency! Don't you mean the gym? Gather in the gym? Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Why is Owie only saying meow over and over again? You know that? I, I I just read that without knowing who said it, and I thought, you know, that was probably Seth BS, and it was. God damn it, Seth. Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Indeed. Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokuma tells me. Controlling your character in this game reminds me when you possess a creature in Dungeon Keeper. Hey Yo. Mondo, where's your bro? Hey man, you about to head in? Yeah, has everyone already gone ahead? <laughs> Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing good's gonna come from ignoring that goddamn bear. Um, Mondo, are you sure you're okay? You kinda went all out in that sauna. What? Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. Yo. But you know, <laughs> there at the edge of hell, a promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. Yo. Anyway, let's head our let's get our asses into the gym. Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. I don't know. I'm not sure if it was unique. Pretty sure people do it all the time. Mondo, do you think love can bloom in a sauna? Okay, is we have to go into the actual gym, or or is this enough? Hey, Hifumi. Hey, uh, hey, Hifumi. How come you haven't gone in yet? Why? Oh, uh -huh. Why is that? Mr. Useless, don't scare me like that. Sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. Oh, great. I don't feel good about it either, but we can't... Ooh. Oh. Makoto, are we just glossing over? He just said, that's what my ghost friend is telling me? Makoto. Makoto. He just said, my ghost friend is telling me to do something. And you said, I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore it. Does Makoto just not listen to what Hifumi says? That, that's probably correct. <laughs> Damn, that's true too. I, I guess we have no choice. All right, I have to go too. It's probably more anime bullshit, Makoto thinks. <clears throat> hmm, ask us to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well. Indeed, what might await us this time? Hmm, 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 he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. Um... How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode. Wow, you you've been watching th like 3D TV, Hifumi. Wow, 3D th TV. He admits it. What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. Hmm. Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm. Huh? What what's that supposed to mean? Hmm. 
Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me, remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well... That, that's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. Hmm. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. Yeah, I, I know, I just feel like we're in like... Either, either we went somewhere that the police can't, were completely cut off from the rest of the, from the rest of the world, like we're in another dimension sort of thing, or we're not. Like we're copies or something. Like there's, there, there's another school with the students, and they go and they can see us, and everything's okay there or something, like something like that. Or, or there's a third one. So, so far, the game has been pretty good th throwing throwing curveballs that 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 I that I that I couldn't think of, and yeah, I, I like that. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck. <laughs> hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may just be maybe just that powerful to take control even of the police. Yeah. Well, then then he's like king of the world or something uh, i guess that's be? an answer but that's that's a dumb answer oh this might not be related but <laughs> then don't say it hmm nope gonna say it <laughs> it's not like some occult mystery it's about last night i was near the main hall just staring off into space yep that's what you do when all of a sudden i heard it huh you heard what the game hmm. comes intro a sound that i don't really know what it was <clears throat> well what kind of sound hmm. well like i said i don't really know but if I had to describe it, Could it, be? it was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site. For serious. I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. Or like a factory. Wasn't there a factory in the intro? <laughs> then you definitely made it up. It must have just been the sound of the ocean that, that in that head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? arrived <laughs> what hero heard wasn't the sound of construction but it could have been an explosion huh <laughs> or maybe a machine gun hoo 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 that can kind of sound like construction in a way what are you talking about what <laughs> beyond this point my mouth is zipped my lips are sealed i am fully puckered it's a secret little secret and fine and let's move on to what you can tell us why did you call us all here? Say what? You don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? If you please. But before that, do you mind if I vent a little? <laughs> I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all of its sh all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably become it's probably become what? It's probably become of this ho hum because, right? It's the wrong word because. Oh wow. I mean, the typo is one. What? I think it's be, probably be, be I don't, is that just a turn of phrase? I don't know. Be, because of this ho hum boring everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation, something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, the next blackened hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey, um... So I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some demented thing? Are you going to show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Damn it! Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say, just awful. You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. Got it! No matter <laughs> anymore, you showed him. We might have done it once, but we're not doing it again. No more killing. No matter what you do, I swear to God, we won't. Hey. Hmm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's... <laughs> embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. 
so I did a little investigating of my own and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. Uh-oh. Seems like there's some envelopes short. I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. As Monica spoke, he tossed the envelopes at her feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written on it. Hifumi's gonna open his, look at it, and just go, eh, whatever. <laughs> He's like, I've lived my life, I've made my choices. Eh, I don't care. I don't care. They can know that. Who gives a shit? <laughs> My entire body suddenly went rigid. <laughs> this is a secret. Makoto went to bed until he was in fifth grade. Who gives a shit? You're in a life or death situation. You're gonna kill someone just so they don't find out you wet the bed until you're in fifth grade. Well, hold on, hold on. That was probably like last year, right? Hmm. All right. All right, maybe it's more serious. Maybe it's more serious. I don't know. Hmm. His body went really, ri like, come on, let's be serious. What? Oh. How? Yeah. How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, Extreme. all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing, embarrassingest secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah! yeah, wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate? <laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. <laughs> it's the most tame bullshit. Are you serious? What? Come on. Really? Like, I bet you the other people are like, like, so much worse than that. There's no fucking way. Like, come on. There's no gods. <laughs> you want me to reveal that stuff, right? <laughs> it's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we never kill over someone like that. Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. Thank what? you. what you say? Count on it. He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's going to murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. Oh, no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay then, in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed. Fair not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. So, um... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um... I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is gonna be totally embarrassing, but that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me! Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. You hear me? Why don't we just all confess the secrets in those envelopes right here, right now? Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Let's Without do it. Without a doubt. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's Quiet do it. down and okay. listen. So my embarrassing thing is... <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. All right. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Uh, Ralph Cogs uses on her bits to say, Why don't you gamble in the jungle? Because of all the cheetahs. Well done, Ralph Cogs. Is 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 Hitler guy's confession gonna be he laughs at all of Ralph Cogs' puns? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I I d don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk ab about mine. All right. Well, so someone's could be like super, super dark and serious, right? Like, 
you, you know what? Like, 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 I, I, I accidentally like killed someone when they were younger, or they they were like sexually assaulted or something. Like, 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 so, so, someone's is probably way goddamn worse than you know Makoto wet the bed until fifth grade. Like, like what what the hell? As for me, neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. What? Oh. What? What do you mean it's impossible? Well, it's just it's just human nature to want to hear hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on. It's okay, come just a little on. bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly. As I said. Here we come go. On, come on, come on, come on, come on. Slash's secret is that she 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 really likes Hifumi. <laughs> hey! I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Say what? Yeah! I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Chihiro? Uh, I'm um, sorry. So sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... but I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, if you um... don't want to talk about it, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it. I, I think you guys should have to talk about it. I agree I agree with Hitler guy. Like, or, or Nazi guy. De def definitely, definitely, definitely. You should all air it right now. So no one, no one can... It, the fact that you don't want to is like, you guys are going to go plot a murder because you don't want anyone to know. Like, you really, really, really need to know. You, you, need, you, need, to, you need to say it. That's true. If, if everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I got... If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. Damn, the, the, the bro thing is canon. It's sticking. <laughs> well, well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna be dead before we're asleep tonight. I hope you're right. A secret's so bad, you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got someone like that, right? <clears throat> okay, I'll... S I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... You hear me? Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. <sighs> so, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. Well... The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh, uh, uh okay, sorry. I know it's going to be tough, but... Ding dong, ding bong. All right, Makoto, don't leave your goddamn dorm for the next 24 hours. If you do, you're a moron. Just hold up in there, no leaving. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Tim Foley's using 100 bits. I agree with Hitler. Oh no, no. Oh god, is there gonna be another, another, another fucking out of context clip now? Oh great. I didn't even think of that when I said it. Oh no, no. No, not a waifu. Not a waifu. Uh, thank you, uh, Vilf, for the 10 3 sub. Hey, Brosif, sup? You know, just, just, just hanging out, playing some weeb game. You know how it is. You know, same old, same old, same old. T typical Thursday, you know? Typical Thursday. Thank you, thank, thank you for the resub. Thank you. As such, soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay, then. Sweet. Hmm. Nighttime already, huh? Okay, let's call it... Let's all call it a day. Of course. Of course. Good idea. We need to repair for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Uh, I hope you have some spare sheets, Makoto. Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure they're more serious than wet the bed until they were fucking fifth grade. Which is probably why, without too much of a, of a struggle. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active. I mean, for example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? 
Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. Some fuck just fell across the room. <laughs> so maybe you're wondering what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. I like these scenes. Okay, so a girl was killed last time, so I feel like a guy should be killed this time. But maybe that's not right. But I feel that makes sense to me. But maybe it's going to be another girl that's dead. Morning. Good. Good morning. Good morning! Hey, bear. Ooh, ah. <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. Well, what? What are you doing here? Yep. I want to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decide to wake you up in person. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun. Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? <laughs> are you sure you should be acting this laid back? Especially after you just wet the bed? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates? What? Say what? Say what? What, 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 what? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What, what happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. Something's happened to someone. Is it? Was it? Sayaka. Oh, wait, no. She's already dead. No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No, what ifs are pointless, especially now when... The dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. And do some clean sheets. Alright, who's not dead? Owie's not dead! Ah. She's not- we were wrong, she's not dead! Ah, Makoto. Uh, um... Are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... Chad Ketchy. Chad Ketchy? You're the- you're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? <laughs> Either they're already either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, <laughs> or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder. <laughs> <laughs> After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um... So, if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. Hm. Just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly, someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? <laughs> to judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? Wh why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. <laughs> what good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um... There's something wrong with him for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find... <laughs> That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. Alright, who's who's dead? Who's dead? Alright, so we're... I always wrong, so I... I, I, always, I always still alive, so I was wrong. Okay. Who's dead? Is it Hifumi? Okay, I don't think she's dead. He might be dead. You're here. I don't think you're dead. You're here. There's no way you're dead. You're here. You might be dead. Or, there's no way Celeste is dead. I think it's 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 Nazi guy or it's Hifumi. It's Nazi guy or Tifumi. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. Mm -hmm. The game is afoot. Can we keep finding these feet? I hope it's Tifumi. Okay, let's go to the pool. Hey, Owie. So, um, 
I knocked on all the doors, but nobody answered. Did they all just... Did they all go see what happened? Oh, then what about the second floor of the school? That's the one place that's new to all of us, so it seems like the actual place for... For murder! You guys in emote only? That's probably for the best. How's it going, Grump? Yo. Hey, Makoto, honestly, what do you think? Huh? About what? For serious? About Chad Ketchy. You think he's being brainwashed or what? I... I don't know. You know more about that kind of thing than me, right? Mm -hmm. What? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you're some kind of psychic, right? Hey. Yeah, he's just really intuitive. Listen, Makoto, I think you've completely misunderstood it, what is I do. Okay, listen, fortune, fortune telling is like... Well? It's totally different from brainwashing or hypnosis or any of that pseudoscientific bullcrap. I need you to understand that. So you expect me to think fortune telling isn't pseudoscience? Sorry, I don't want to get yelled at. That Makoto's getting a little more, a little more uh, assertive, huh? He's getting a little more. I'm, I'm, I'm Makoto. He's starting, he's starting to give, act like a little bit more like the other Makoto. Okay, let's go to the pool. Where's the pool? This is not the pool. Where's the pool? This is the library. I want to go in here. <sighs> Why won't you let that upon go in there? What are you hiding in there, Chad Ketchy? What are you hiding? We missed the pool. Is the pool here? Oh, there's the pool. We walked right past it. <sighs> it's getting tense. Huh? The door's open, but aren't these, aren't these supposed to be locked? Ding dong, bing bong. For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Where is everyone? I investigation. It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Chad Ketchy. I see. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. C come on. <laughs> And the locker rooms, they're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious. <laughs> it seems nobody's searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. I agree. Yeah, total chat. I agree. He was muttering as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girls' locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. bloodlust really oh wow for real i did not see that coming really holy shit wow holy fuck what i don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what i was looking at but as soon as i did i realized i had wasted that mathematic problem book on her A wild, almost primeval, primeval scream escaped from my mouth. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. Wait. It surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. That was quite, quite a, like, Hannibal tier presentation of that corpse there. Chad Ketchy, on the other hand, like, who could have lifted her up like that? Is is it to try and pin it on Sakura? Because Sakura is probably the only one that could have lifted her up that easily. That that's like, like holy fuck. Chad Ketchy, on the other hand. Very oh, she's strange. not that high. Okay, she's not that high. I think the can the angle of the last time made it look higher than it was. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. I see. Yeah, it's not that high. Even even right now, it's not that high. Bloodlust. Why would you write bloodlust?
Wait, is it Leon? What's 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 on the right side there? It looks like there's blood on that poster. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust? Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hmm. No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have, committed, to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. Hmm. Interesting. It was almost as if whoever did, did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head. What the heck? Hey, I heard screaming. Did something... <laughs> Wow, it was long. Chihiro! Ding dong, ding dong. Well, that's a shame. I thought there'd be a more to the Chihiro character. Been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. What the hell was that? What? Ah, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, yeah, there's blood on that poster. And someone wrote Yuckyon on it, too. Wait, what is it upside down? Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that... It's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly. The body discovery announcement that Shihiro really is naturally dead. Yes. <laughs> d -d 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 -d. Before you start screaming your head off, go around everyone up. It seems another game has begun. <laughs> another life or death game to uncover a killer. So it was her was her head slammed into that wall in the poster, and that's how she died. And then and then she was a. Uh, she was strung up like she is. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time passed. Pass, no time at all passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. <laughs> like the crane. The crane has taken your sense of time. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. Damn, I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim. Which means we are now in the same position once again. Fuck, man. What the fuck is this? What? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being born. Shut up. All right. Okay, so this has blood on it too, but there's blood here. So how did blood get up here? Looks like she was here and she got, did she get bashed into the wall and then she fell and then grabbed the weight and smashed it right on her face? All right, let's talk to everyone first. Just a second. No, I want to talk to Mondo. I didn't want to leave. Wait. Hey. There's something written on the wall. Doesn't that concern you? On the wall. Yeah, I want to talk to Mondo. Oh, I can't. I'm sorry. No, there are more important things to worry about right now than dumbbell. It has blood on it! The word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. So... I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. <laughs> But you know, that thing about writing bloodlust in blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? <laughs> a murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. And at the scene of each crime, the word bloodlust is written in the, victim, in the victim's own blood. Oh, it's Genocide Jack? They're like a ghost attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give this mysterious serial, give to this mysterious serial killer? What? What? Genocide Jack! Genocide Jack, the murderous fiend whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country. 
the alternate murderous fiend, creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. What is this? Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style. But why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. Oh yeah, Genocide Jack just broke in and did this shit and, and decided, you know, fuck yeah, I'm gonna do it. Or one of us was already Genocide Jack before we came in here. Real. Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack is here in the, in the school? No way! There's no way! Hmm. But going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I am surprised at their stupidity. Well, I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Ah! Ah. <laughs> what is it now? Toko. Hino is pointing toward the entrance of the girls' locker room. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Toko was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing up. Who was it that brought up the story of Genocide Jack? Was it was it Chihiro or was it Toko? Someone brought it up. Someone said maybe it's Genocide Jack, and it wasn't Chad Ketchy. It was one of those girls. I think it was Toko. I think Toko was the, the, the first one who, who proposed Genocide Jack. No, no, no. Well, why, why? Well, why? Why? Oh shit, she's 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 gone full nine ave. She's tugging on her braid. Good dunk. <laughs> she fainted. That did not sound good. <laughs> Toko! Hina rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying and started trying to shake her awake. <laughs> Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up. Oh. Um... oh that's right. I just remember what she said about how she faints anytime she sees blood. Oh, so she is hemophobic. I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. Uh, um... This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. <laughs> no, I think it should be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Hmm. Ah, uh, so since she didn't fade on purpose, it doesn't count. Gotcha. Just a second! Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up. As if she'd heard her, Toko suddenly shot awake. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction, I was at a total loss for words. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Oh. In no time flat, she was just standing up, ignoring the physical contortions she had, had, she had to go through. Her motions were totally haphazard. Huh? Huh? What? <sighs> Sorry about that. I was just so shocked, you know. It happens, right? Was I the only one? Totoko, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? <laughs> what the heck? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. <laughs> the wolf has a front and a back, a top inning and a bottom, a sea of truth and a web of lies. Well this is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, no, no. Everything's fine. At least the stutter's all gone. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. I see. It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. Mm. Maybe it's Genocide Jane. It might be best if we take her back to her room for the time being. So, um... I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? Mm -hmm. If you need help, I don't mind. Um... Taka, could you help me? Huh? She totally ignored me. Hmm. Very well, you can take care of the girl. And the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Hold on a second, rushing to an investigation? Hmm. The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, sure you realize that. Nig Don't make me repeat myself. There's no question that Shihiro was murdered by someone among us. Hmm. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Of course! Of course! Right as rain. But don't take it as a bad thing. It's just a fact of life. Because... Yahoo! That's how graduation works. Then it's happened again. Yeah, welcome to an hour ago, Makoto. Is that what you're saying? That another one of us... Another one of us killed a fellow classmate. Hmm? What, does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? 
Is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. Yeah! Actually, I don't have any either. Sorry. Stop talking. Stop monologuing and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? <laughs> hee hee hee. I sure did, chump. It's Allow me to present the next Monokuma file. I know how much you must be looking forward to it. See ya So please later. do your very tippy top best on this investigation. No way! Do we really got to do another investigation? Is there a fan out? Hold on. <sighs> Ever tried intermittent fasting? Why would you combine the two? Why would you do this? Merrick? Merrick? What the fuck? Why would you do this? This is... This 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 might be worse than the time you put you put two B's lower half on 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 Tora's upper half. What are you doing? Did you did you have her have the hairpin? God damn it, Ali. God damn it. Uh, thank you, uh, Wabuffet, for the new sub with Prime. Thank you very much, Wabuffet. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, um, MT underscore DTS. So, Mount DTS. I feel like I've said both of your names before. Thank you very much for the new Subway Prime. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Prime Time. And thank you, Melodies, for the 100 bits. Yusuke is best thing and Rampa Digimon. Gonna weep them all. Okay. <laughs> if, 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 actually, that brings up a good uh, a question. If, if this was Persona, right? If, if the Persona Pals were put in the situation along with with um, with uh, with Nishima and, and all the supporting characters as well, who do you think would be the first one to kill, and who do you think would be the first one dead? Let's let's take uh, let's take uh, uh, Akechi out because I think that would make it you know who 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 would be who would be the first one. Examine the corpse of one of our friends. Having to suspect all our other friends. Why? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Oh, I hate it too. Help me! I, I, I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Hey! Where do you plan on going? Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Such ignorance. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. <laughs> You are very enthusiastic about all this, are you not? Naturally. How could I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. That, that's true, but to jump into it so soon. What? What? Do you want to die? Such ignorance. Fine, then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. Damn you! The dead body is an object? Piece of shit! Chihiro wasn't an object. Show a little respect or I'll beat some into you. Calm down. Everyone stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Chad Ketchy said. Kyoko. Because if we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. And if uh, Chad Ketchy is right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Shihiro, that's right. Then unless we do something, more victims could start piling what? up. What? Forget more victims. If we mess this up, we're all dead meat. Hey! Hey! Hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. In any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. What? <laughs> what? I don't rem remember any rule like that. Actually, I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be all over, right? Exactly. Damn, they address it, man. They address it. I gotta give this game. I gotta give it to this game, man. Every time, you know, well, not every time. Most of the times I've said, like, well, what if they do this? The game thinks of it and they, br and they bring it up later. Some things they don't, and that, that's been frustrating, but, but like, a, way more than any other game. So then. Well done. Well done. In, in that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey! Well, um... in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. Yeah! Just one, just one would totally murder that possibility. Punishment is Farewell waiting for, now. for you. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. Hmm. I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. <laughs> Interesting. Which is definitely not good. 
need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. Why would you risk another murder this time unless you're enjoying it? You son it? of a bitch! You need to shut the fuck up. So, um... Well, for now, Taka and me are gonna drop Toko off at her room. Uh, nice, I'm gonna get uh, dropped off. Have some towel treatment. There is nothing to be done. So, is she, like, she's turned on by the blood and the and the body, right? Like, that's, that's what that face is? I, d I don't- I don't speak weeb, and I don't know the expressions, but isn't- isn't that the turned on face? Like, she's turned on by- by the blood and the corpse. No, she's just a frog. Okay, some of you are saying no, and I can't- I- and, I, and I'm not sure if you're being sarcastic. It's only you thinking that, Joe? People in chat are agreeing with me. It's the I have a concussion face. We, okay. I've had a confession. I've had a confession. I've had a concussion and, and my tongue didn't fucking wallop out of my mouth like that. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation. Uh, Totsui? If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Shihiro, okay? then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Investigate. Do, 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 First of all, I'd better check the Monokuma file to see exactly what's going on. The victim was Chikiro uh, Fujisaki. The time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. The body was discovered in the girls' locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. Nice! Monokuma file number two has been added to the truth section, truth bullet section of your handbook. Hmm. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? Did you need something from me? Naturally. Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know? Um, so what did you need? <laughs> I'm going to let you cooperate with me during my investigation. Huh? What? I'm purchasing your talent, the same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. So solve? No, I just... Stop talking. You seem to have some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. So, you're inviting me to come with you? You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, though. Let's go. Now then, shall we get started? But, but, we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with Chad Ketchy on this one. Chad Ketchy is like, is like, like paired up, kind of similar, but also opposite in certain ways to Tioka, to Kyoko, right? So I was just going through this to see if there's anyone else can be paired off. I think there are some. I don't think it means anything. She took her time examining Chihiro's corpse. She poked and prodded, going over every inch of the lifeless body. Oh, really? Hmm. You're a very strange woman, you know, being able to touch a dead body with absolutely no trouble. She seems to be concentrating pretty hard. It's like she can't even hear us. <laughs> if you have time to talk, you have time to start investigating. I use this locker room all the time, and now it's become the site of Chihiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else than carried here. Hmm. She was very light, that is true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, but still, well. I still think she came here on her own by choice. What makes you say that? Hmm. She'd been talking a lot lately about how she wanted to get stronger. So you're saying she came here to exercise? But according to the Monokuma file, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. Would she really have been exercising that late? Yeah, because she was embarrassed, so she wanted to do it all Perhaps. 
Hina or myself are usually in the locker room during the day, so she was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? Mm. Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up, so I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. And instead, she came to exercise in the middle of the night. However. Perhaps, but it's difficult for me to imagine she would have come alone. She didn't want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. So you're saying she could have had come, she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but that she also would have come with someone else. Hmm. It's a possibility, I think. Nice. Sakura's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Yeah. Maybe she didn't know how to work out, and she thought she was lifting the dumbbells properly, and then it hit her on the head. She's like, first, first step of working out is that you tie your hands to to, the, to these machines, and then you suspend yourself up. You're doing like a pull up. And then you lift up the thing with, with you put the, the weight on your head. Dude had a real complex. Dude had a real complex about being weak. You heard Shakira talk about it, right? All in dude, you're calling her a dude? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Yeah. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. But did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't that strong. Oh, yeah. aren't all that strong. I don't know, man. Sakara's right there. Haven't really thought about that stuff. The cause of here is complex. I can't help wondering what it might be. Mondo's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I wonder if we're going to find her secret in her room. I wonder if we're going to go into her room and find her secret. I wonder what her secret is. It's weird how compelling secrets are. Like these characters are pretty are pretty good, but like I really want to know their secrets, and that's that's surprising. It surprises me. This game's so cool. It's so unique. I really like it a lot. Um, but yeah, does, it, are people in chat like that too. Like I want to know what their secrets are. Like what what are they? I'm really curious. It's like oh, you can't know that. Well, I really want to know. It's it's really compelling. There's a dumbbell on the floor and. This is a blood stain. There's a blood stain on the dumbbell. Hmm. The Monokuma file said a blow to the head with a blunt object is what killed her. Does that mean this dumbbell was actually the murder weapon? That's right. I don't imagine it could have been anything else. Now I believe it's about time for us to move. No, I haven't looked at the, no, no, I haven't looked at the corpse. I haven't looked at, no, no, fuck you, no. Huh, already? What? New clues won't magically appear by standing around here. We need to check every aspect of this case. That That's true, but. Let's go. If you're satisfied, let's hurry up and proceed. No, I'm not satisfied. He's so pushy. I got caught up with the wrong person this time. Really? No. No, fuck, fuck, what? <laughs> so this is our next location. No, we're not, we didn't even look at the body. Huh? This, there might be a coin on it. Huh? This place is related to the investigation. <laughs> Figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? Okay, I want to go back. I want to go back. <laughs> really? For fuck's sake. <sighs> did I go, did I use the wrong thing? Did I look at the wrong thing there? Could I have looked at the other ones and then looked at the corpse? And, sorry, and then, and then looked at and then looked at the the, the dumbbell. You already spent plenty of time. No, I didn't. I didn't spend fucking plenty of time. There are plenty of other things left to check here. The victim was Chihiro Fujisaki. The time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. The body was discovered in the girl's office. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. She was killed instantly. Interesting. Okay. How did they get in? If I remember right, this card reader is meant to work with our handbooks, right? What? Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with Monokuma. He said that, then quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Did you call for me? Has he been domesticated? That's right. It seems that Makoto has a question for you. You need something? Sure, what's up? Um, well, it's just about this card reader. Yep. Yes, the card readers have all been designed to interface with each of your e-handbooks. You can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. <laughs> and it's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? Unbelievable. If there was some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl, the ceiling-mounted Gatling gun would initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter. 
Hmm. And the school regulations prohibit anyone from lending someone else their handbook, correct? Of course! Correctly correct! So then, that means only girls can go in the girls' locker room, and only boys can go in the boys' locker room. In other words, Chihiro's body being found in the girls' locker room means... Hmm. Hey Makoto, I can see right through you. See right through me? <laughs> Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since Jahir was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in so there. So in other words... As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I... No, that's wrong! They might... Someone might have stolen any handbook. Did I get it right? Such Good ignorance. lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? <laughs> you should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you this entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. <laughs> no, ho, 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 ho. I would expect nothing less from the prodig prodigal son. I can't say that word. Prodigal son. There I go. I said it. Son of the noble Togami family. So he managed to sniff out the loophole and the regulations. <laughs> Knowing you, I would bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. Yeah! Yeah! You're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. No, it's... it's Okay, so it's kind of like... um, if, if you're torrenting, it's... It's you, like you you can leech, but you can't seed. So, l like if you're allowed to borrow it from someone, and the person who let you borrow it is in trouble, but the person who borrowed it is fine. L like yeah, that's that's the distinction. It's like you the the, the 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 crime is on the person who originally had the 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 the, the e-reader. And they're the ones that are in trouble and breaking the rules. But the person who borrowed it is is fine. It's 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 a weird loophole. I'm guessing stealing is also fine too. Joe is torrenting. I don't torrent. Not for a very 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 long time. Kia, you're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things. Yep. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. You're saying there's a that's a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it. So, uh... Why are you? So sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Chad Ketchy and get your poop together. Unbelievable. Or else I'll charge you with criminal negligence. No more questions. Figure out the rest on your, your own damn self. That's fine. Well, I know you are unfortunately lacking in mental faculties. He really is, isn't he? Can we play as Chad Ketchy? So I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main hall. The main hall? <laughs> That'll help you understand what's going on. Nice. Card reader has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. We came to the main hall. So what are we looking for here? Does that mean I have to figure it out for myself? Time to look at the mail. It's an e-handbook? Looks like there's three of them. No wait, there's three of them. But what are they doing here? Hmm. So you finally found them. How did you know they were there? How did you know these are here, Chad Ketchy? <laughs> I happened to find- oh, okay. Myself the other day. It seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this- Oh, so someone just used a dead student's handbook to get in? So then these three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Sayako. Sayako's dead? Hm. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. Kratos is from Sparta? I immediately turned on one of the handbooks, and when I did... You're right, this is Sayaka's handbook. <laughs> now, do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed either earlier, or Sayaka killed Chihiro. It's Sayaka, back from the dead. Oh, what's Lily's favorite joke? <sighs> Lily has two favorite jokes. L Lily's favorite joke Lily's actual favorite joke is 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 an anti-joke, which is weird because Lily 
Lily doesn't really like meta humor and anti humor and everything like that. Lily's favorite joke is Joe. Ha 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 ha. It's 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 an anti joke. So, um, her favorite joke is, "Why did the monkey fall out of the tree? Because it was dead." <laughs> That's that's her favorite joke. Like it's it's not it's not funny in the traditional sense of a joke. It's funny if you're already in the mood and telling jokes. It's a, it's an anti joke. That that's that that's that's her favorite joke. Um, but her fa her favorite joke that's a proper joke is fairly long. Um, so I'll I'll tell it at the end of the stream. I'll I'll t I'll, t I'll tell the real joke at the end of the stream. That's how we'll end the stream. Oh no, Lily's telling me to do it now. Okay, we'll do it now. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh, please, 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 please do not uh, spoil the joke in chat, because I'm sure someone, someone has, someone has heard it. Okay. All right. So, uh, the seven dwarves decide to leave Snow White and go on a, a very pressing matter to the Vatican to see the Pope. All seven dwarves pile in to the main hall to meet the Pope, and they're all there. Uh, what are the seven doors again? Uh, Sleepy, um, Dopey, Doc, Grumpy, Hungry, um, Sneezy, whatever, whatever the fuck. They, they all pile in. Uh, and Doc comes forward as the representative of the group and says to the Pope, uh, Your Highness, your, your Popeliness, we have a pressing question for you today. Are there any nun dwarves in the Vatican and the Pope says I'll have to think about it and he stands there for a few minutes and then he, he, said, he shakes his head and says no, there are no nun dwarves or dwarves that are nuns in, in, in the Vatican behind them some of the dwarves start some, behind Doc some of the dwarves start to laugh Doc stays serious and steps forward and says your your popeliness, your your your, your popeness. Are there any <laughs> dwarf nuns in all of in all of in all of Italy? And the Pope says, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have to check for you. And the doc, and Doc says, will you, will you please check for me? And the Pope says, Okay, because you're one of the seven dwarves. I'm a big fan. I'll I'll go check. So he, he goes and he's gone for a while. He comes back. A, 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 an hour later, he sits down and he says, No, there there are no dwarf nuns in all of Italy. Behind Doc, the dwarves are starting to laugh even harder now. Doc steps forward once again. Your popeliness. I'm sorry, I must ask again. Are there any dwarf nuns in all the world? And the Pope says, that, I, I don't know. That's that's a hard question. I'll have to I'll have to go and search and send out all of my cardinals and 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 and, and, and call to every church and cathedral in, in all the world to find out. And Doc says, "Will you please do it? It's very important." The Pope leaves. He's gone for several days. He finally comes back, tired and haggard. He hasn't slept the whole time. He sits down in his Pope chair and strokes his Pope chin and says. There are no dwarf nuns in all the world. Behind Doc, the dwarves erupt into laughter. Doc starts laughing himself, all except Dopey, and they start chanting, Dopey fuck the penguin, Dopey fuck the penguin, Dopey fuck the penguin. That's the least favorite joke. Uh, thank you, Acosta02, for the 200 bits. Uh, with the message, if you delete the handbook you borrowed within 24 hours, you're not in trouble. <laughs> you don't get it? He thought the penguin was a dwarf nun. That joke was over the range? So over the range.
Uh, thank you, Tim Foyle, for the 100 bits. Emote when? I'm not sure. We'll have an emote at some point, yeah. We need some new ones. We'll probably get a new a bunch of new ones all at once, I think. Maybe I'll get them made all at once, and then we'll just we'll just rip them out a little bit. I don't know. Emotes are fun. Uh, we, we, we are way overdue for a new one. And thank you, uh, Mutexro, for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you very much, Mutexro. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. So he raped the penguin. I'm pretty sure the penguin was in, in on it. You know, like it, it's 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 one of the seven dwarfs. Aren't you gay for grumpy? Now you do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. R really? Really? You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning you a handbook is another student. I see, yeah, now I understand. Main Hall E Handbooks has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. What? Hmm, hold on a second. Well, you're the only one who knew about this. Wait, didn't we check that after someone died? Could we have seen them too? What's Very wrong? Very strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Whose is it? The other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. Then the other one would turn on must be Leon's, right? I see. It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. Yeah, I remember. The memory of it came flooding back. Well, Leon's is irrelevant anyway, because it was the girl's locker room. That cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind concocted. A cruel, heartless death. Who died? You missed the last 30 minutes? Uh, Chihiro died. She's deed. You're right, it wouldn't be surprising for the handbook to break during that kind of assault. Damn it! Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Now hey! I'm... Well, what? <laughs> that e-handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, a super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily. But it did. That's impossible! If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. It can withstand up to 10 tons of pressure, and it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it wouldn't do crap. But, oh, but even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. It does. I can't hear but you! But it's a secret. I wouldn't want you to go breaking any more handbooks. It's waterproof. Huh. Over overcharging it with electricity, maybe, or huh? What? Then Leon must have. Then Leon must have. Then Leon must have have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, right? Hmm. hmm. Hard to say. You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken. Wah -wah? But you might ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. Is it a fake? It's a fake handbook? How do you fake a handbook? What just happened? Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable fact that's, that it's not turning on. That's fine. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Either way, something about it, is, about it still bothers me. Broken e-handbook has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Okay then, this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Shakiro. Hmm. To be exact. Not quite. Huh? Not quite? The hunk of metal blocking the entrance seems like some kind of machine. Okay. What do you mean by that, Chad Ketchy? To be exact, not quite. Hmm. Certainly I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely, <laughs> I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then you really think, you truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Don't make me repeat Absolutely. myself. Absolutely, I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. Really? Because that seems really far-fetched. That murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? What? There's nobody else it could be. <laughs> a murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give this mis gives this mysterious serial killer? We already did this. Genocide Jack. They say he's killed thousands of people, but that's got to be an urban legend. 
Still, could one of us really, one of us really be a demented, psychotic killer like that? <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder. But words mean little right now. I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. Okay, show me. Do we really have to talk again? What? <laughs> Don't make me. And I have a basis to believe that. I assure you, Genesis Jack is one of us. Is it really proof? <laughs> There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. Oh, is it is it the closet in the library that you wouldn't it's let us into? Now. Evidence that Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro. Evidence. This is something like that, really. Ah, hey, you two. Big trouble. Need your help. I don't have time to play busy. with you. busy. Leave us alone. But I mean... it's an emergency. Emergency. Come on, please. You gotta help me. All right. What's the emergency? P please. This is a serious emergency. Please, please. You gotta help me. Just calm down, okay, Mia? Because, I mean... But, but, it's an emergency! An emergency? What happened? Well... Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? She always acts strange! What should we do, Chet Ketchy? Very strange. Since Toko, I must admit, I'm intrigued. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make myself. me repeat myself. I didn't expect that. I thought for sure he'd just say no, and that'd be the end of it. Yeah! Okay, okay, come on, hurry. Wait for us, Hina. Let's go. It looks like she headed to the dorms. To Toko's room, most likely. You're right. Alright, see you later. I'm going back to look at the body some more. Fuck you, Akechi. Why do I play weed games again? You guys are too slow. I think you're just too fast. Hmm. So what's this emergency? So, well, after um, what happened to the, in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she could lay down. After a while, we came back to check on her, you know, see how she was doing. But when we did, hmm. it was weird. She refused to come out, and she kept saying all this with all this weird stuff. Weird stuff. That's fine. We should try talking to her ourselves. Yeah, good idea. How about we find out what the weird stuff is first before we? I may as well give it a shot. Ding dong. The door swung open slowly and silently. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, holy crap. An aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that uh, Hina was really worried about you holding yourself up in your room. Yeah, you holding yourself up in there? Leave me alone. Oh, the stutter's back. Okay, she's back to her normal weird self. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? Won't allow it. Huh? I won't let Genocide Jack have control. Like a split personality sort of thing? And just like that, she slammed the door in my face. Well, what was that? Hmm. She's been acting like that the whole time when I rang a little while ago. I'll, I'll drive out the killer, Dri drive out the murderous fiend. Um. It doesn't make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her in, in there alone, so I tried to bust down her door. But it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even budge it. Toko was scared enough to even bar her door. Does she think the same thing as Chad Ketchy? Does she think the serial killer genocide Jack really murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toko's so scared? But... Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? Uh... Yo, 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 yo. She wants the D. Go. Hey, Bayakuya, do you think you could ask her? To come out of her room, I mean? That's fine. Sure, whatever. Huh? huh? You're gonna talk to her, Bayakuya? Well, I guess you can be nice when you want to. Bayakuya stood in front of her door, not making a sound, and pressed the doorbell. Ding dong. After a few moments. What do you want? Leave me alone. You're all so, so, so annoying. Ah. 
Bacula. What? It's Yakuya. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't keep our promise. But don't worry, never again. I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. Promise? And with that, the door slammed shut. Hmm. Even Bayuka couldn't pull it off. <laughs> There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. H hold on. Hey, Bayuka, what was ta what was ta Toko talking about just now? Something about a promise. What? Hmm? Oh, I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. But, but Stop talking. if I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of her. Hmm. Okay, so like her being having a split personality of Genocide Jack is a little too too much. Like that seems too obvious or whatever. But that promise thing and the fact that he knows about like like the, everything in the closet in the library, I'm guessing is where it is. He, he's like brainwashed her into thinking that she's like 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 is is Genocide Jack and. That would make him actually Genocide Jack and he's trying to pin it on her or he's just pretending to be Genocide Jack and he's also making her pretend to be Genocide Jack. Like he had power over her and she was clearly like goddamn bananas, but that's a really big stretch. And he did that only in a couple days or a day. I don't know. That's that's kind of, uh, I guess Celeste kind of whipping Hifumi into shape that quickly also shows it. I don't know. That's That's strange. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll stay here and keep an eye on her. Let's go. Well, then, let's go. Without warding for a reply, uh, Bayuka sped away. Bayuka. And I hurried to catch up. I tried to talk to him several times as we walked, but he didn't even look back, let alone say anything. He just kept on walking towards his destination. Finally, his feet brought him to a, st to stop, to a stop in front of a certain room. The library. The library. <laughs> Come on, let's go in. Oh, I'm sorry, my uh, list has gone down. I need to scroll down a little bit. Um, thank you, Lord Ranter, for the resub for two months. Thank you very much, Lo Lord Ranter. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the resub. Uh, thank you, Keegan Loses, for the 200 bits. What's the chances of a waifu Joe emote? Um, you mean you want a waifu? You want a waifu emote, or you want a waifu Joe emote? The, no chance. Joe is not a waifu. No waifu. No waifu. Joe not a waifu. Joe not a waifu. Na 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 na. Not a waifu. Rough Dogs has used 200 bits. Why did the other monkey fall out of the tree? Because it was drunk. Why did the last monkey fall out of the tree? Everyone else was doing it. Why did the jungle hiker die? Because a bunch of monkeys fell. <laughs> did you like those, Lily? Uh, the Jesus himself has resubscribed for two months. Thank you very much, the Jesus himself. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you, uh, Grumpy Mark. Good timing there after after the the seven dwarves joke. Thank you, Grumpy Mark, for the uh, for the new sub with Prime. Thank you, Grumpy Mark. Welcome to the Dragons Den. Evidence that proves it was genocide. Jack really in the library. Don't make me repeat Don't myself. Don't let me say it again. And it's over here. It's over here. The closet you wouldn't let anyone into. If I remember, on the other side of this door, it's the archive, right? <laughs> Hurry up and go inside. Oh, here. Let's go. It all makes sense once you're inside. Whoa, there's so many books and files. And so much dust too. So in other words, I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. The dust. Coins, coins, coins. There's a wooden box. It's empty. Although judging by the smudges in the dust, it looks like there was something inside. Coin. I wonder what it was. Was it a coin? Hmm. There was an extension cord plugged in there. It proved very useful while I was in the library. An extension cord, huh? The shelf is stuffed tight with files. Without really thinking about it, I picked one at random. Hmm. Ah, you have a sharp eye indeed to select that file. 
Huh? That's right. That's the report on a presidential assassination. The original is kept at the National Library. It won't be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? <laughs> There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up in. Wind up in for... And wind up in for peeking at it. Sorry. Without making a sound, I return the file to the shelf. There's even a surveillance camera here. Oh shit, it's a lamp! Huh, it's a desk lamp. Oh yeah, it's the same one I saw by... by Chad, I can't say his name, Chad Ketchy, using in the library before. Wasn't it still outside? What? Do you have a problem with that lamp? It was here before, then I moved it over there. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. Nice, we got coin! Nice! Coin, 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 coin. There's so many file stuff on the shelf. What's in all these That's things? That's enough. Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous? They detail all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth for a common... What? How did... Uh, why is this here? You mean like members of the diet or something? <laughs> no, I mean the ones with the real with real power. The secret council controlling everything from the shadows. The Flat Earth Society! If you're ready to be dis to be disappeared for it, take a look. There are some very interesting people in there. Y you're just kidding, right? <laughs> Am I? Are you in there, Chad Ketchy? I'll just let it go for now. There's a ton of thick file stuffed onto the bookshelf. <laughs> if you're thinking of looking through any of them, let me give you a little warning. Those things are filled with graphic, disturbing photos from all kinds of crime scenes. It's the kind of thing any normal person wouldn't ever want to look at. Be careful. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> all those files there are investigation reports related to, to different cold cases. There are inter internal documents for police eyes only. Those are internal documents for police eyes only. So why are they here? They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Oh. So, are you finally beginning to understand the true splendor of this library? The entire reason I was interested in the library is because of this room right here. <laughs> it's home to classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be for real, right? For real? Such ignorance. That's your guy's problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your preconceived reality, you label it a lie. Well, it's not that, it's just, it's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but, I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone have put all this together? Hmm. I suppose it goes to show just how much power Hope's Peak truly wields, or perhaps <laughs> the Mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Uh, um, it's no use. I can't keep up with all this. It's just too unreal. Hmm. What's wrong? You still can't believe it? What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like that are usually impossible. What? What do you mean, usually? Usual, normal, ordinary, simple, those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull your punches, do you? <laughs> Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? But what makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? <laughs> Damn, you're so edgy. The documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times, so there is no doubt. Hold on a second, you're saying you've read all these documents, and more than once? But all this has to be, like, top secret confidential stuff, right? So why? Hm. My family has a reading room just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course, and not as dusty. Hm. Huh? Members of the Tokami family have access to any variety of government-related documents. That includes foreign powers as well as a domestic. How is that possible? So in other words... I already words... told you, there's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. <laughs> My family is a member of that council, and I have within me the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. I think you're gonna get... 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 deaded, Makoto. Why would he tell you this? <laughs> but to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of this world backwards and forwards. So whenever I have time, I like to review whatever documents and materials interest me. Okay, so why isn't the secret society like, yo, we haven't heard from our kid in like five days, and the school is missing, so why aren't they busting down the walls to get in here? If, 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 if the bear even controls the secret society, who controls the bear? <laughs> Which is why I can proclaim without a doubt that the materials gathered here are the real thing. This is beyond believing or not believing. Chad Ketchy is actually starting to scare me more than the actual mastermind. Hmm. And what how, what always interests me the most were the cold case police investigation reports. 
reading through these those reports has always been a hobby of mine ever since I was little. It's excellent mental exercise. I've solved more than a few of those cases just by reviewing the reports. And among all those reports, one of my recent favorites is the Genocide Jack case. As he talked, Ted Ketchy grabbed the specific file from the shelf. That's right. This is the comp this is the complete case file. Every single report surrounding the Genocide Jack cases has been caught compiled in here hmm. because there are so many. Allow me to quickly summarize the main points. To begin, there are two notable characteristics in every Genocide Jack murder. The first characteristic is that every crime scene, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. And the second <laughs> is that when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodlust is written in blood, and the victim's body is suspended. It's exactly the same as what happened to Chihiro. Chihiro's dead? <laughs> Save your surprise, the best part is yet to come. Hmm. For the second characteristic, where the victims are suspended, the only ones who knew about that particular fact were members of the police and other higher-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? Hmm. In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about the aspect of each crime. So it's you. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about this act of melting the victim. Hmm. Now, if you recall Chihiro's corpse, hmm. her body was most certainly melted in this fashion. So, how could the killer have known about suspending the victim? That's right. That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. So, in other the words... The isn't a copycat killer. It's the real Genocide Jack. Gah. In other words... That right there is the evidence that Genocide Jack... Okay, but then, yeah, why would he... What? But then why, why... If he's trying to be a copycat, then why would he go through all the trouble to make sure the details are right when he's the only one that knows about the details? That doesn't seem right either. So either he's playing like like the, the, the double game where he, he, he would propose that answer if someone called him on it, or there is a real genocide jack and and he just knows. I don't know. That right there is the evidence that genocide jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. That then genocide jack really is such a brutal fiendish killer really is what walking around among us <laughs> it's <Danny>. interesting <laughs> things are really starting to get interesting aren't they i never imagined the killer with such a reputation would ever become a part of our little game now don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what what i've already seen you might just manage to ferret out a clue or two such ignorance if you get down on your knees and beg i might even show you myself <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did that one already. Um, by Akuya about the genocide Jack case file. Did you let me see it? That's fine. Well, you didn't beg, but I guess it's okay this time. Feel free to look at it in here, but you can't take it with you. Why not? Oh, isn't that from the opening? The um, the opening title sequence. Bayakuya handed me the file and I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly my hand stopped. I had reached the page where photos from the scene of each crime had all been collected. The names of genocide Jack's victims ran on for several pages. Victim Ken Harada, Office Worker 32. The murder took place in the parking lot of the victim's apartment complex. The victim suffered multiple stab wounds across his body, believed to have been inflicted with the same scissors that were later used to attach the victim to the wall. Bloodless scissors. Okay, these are all the same guy. Ken Harada, yeah, okay. Shoji Gaku. Tetsuhiro Honda, 17. Shoji Gaku, 23. Kano Enze, 14. Takeshi Yoshida, 30. Isn't it the same stuff just repeated there? The left and right is the same. Have you seen that? It's the same thing with different pictures, isn't it? That's kind of weird. Komatsuna Taro, Te Tekefumi, Gano, Ukita, Urchida, Nahu Nahisha, Takeshi, Ma Masamun, Yudo. Okay, I'm not even trying to. There's no end to it. One thing became perfect as I read. All the killers, countless victims, were killed and suspended in exactly the same way. 
in the scene where he murdered the word bloodlust was less than the victim's own blood. These are both... Are they all guys, too? Hmm. I'll take a look at the next page, and you'll find another interesting tidbit. The next page? Profiling results. All the crimes took place either on weekend, either on weekdays at night or during holidays, either day or night. The most common time for the for the killings to take place was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it could suggest it could be suggested that the suspect may be a student. Evidence suggests that, they, that the suspect lingered at the scene, but then, but when they did leave, they were in a panic because I, an eyewitness has never come forward. It's unlikely there was any external reason for this. This confused behavior suggests that the suspect may potentially suffer from dissoci dissociative identity disorder. Really? So, in other words, the key point here is that the culprit may well have a split personality. A split personality, like the kind of thing you see on TV. Wait, is it Leon? So I'm part of another totally unbelievable story, but this one is way more unbelievable than anything else up until now. Or maybe it really isn't, I don't know. I feel like my mind has gone numb. Let's go. All right, we should get going. Okay, see, I want, I want to question all this and I want to be like, look, yeah, there's probably more going on. This is false information, blah, 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 blah. But the game put 11037 on the wall and made this sound like you have to be Sherlock Holmes to crack the case. All right, we should get going soon. Huh? Where are we <laughs> going? Anywhere but here. We finished our business here, haven't we? Oh, uh, wait. Chet Ketchy. As, as usual, Bayakuya turned and left without another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. <laughs> well... This is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Huh? Just all of a sudden like that? I don't have time Come to on, play with enough you. enough of your annoying mis misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. I just like that. He was gone. Just as quickly as he'd asked me to join him, he'd cut me off. In the end, I felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. At the same time, I'd uncovered some really important clues thanks to him. Genocide Jack, he's the one that killed Chihiro. And that murderous fiend is one of us. But who is it? I have to find that out no matter what it takes. And to do that, there's somewhere I have to go invest to go investigate one more time. I have to go back to the crime scene, the girls' locker room. I should check the boys' locker room too. And the others might have come up with some info I might find useful while I'm at it. I need to find out everything I can. Toko's secret envelope was you are genocide Jack and she was like oh no oh no they're gonna they're gonna find out I'm genocide Jack quick better kill someone under genocide Jack to hide it got him no one will see through it no one will know good now they don't know that anyone in here is genocide Jack thanks to genocide Jack killing somebody Is anyone up here? Ooh. I really hope that there's a that it is false information. I'd be very happy if it was. Hey, Hifumi. Da, 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 da. Ding, da, 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 da. ding ding ding. Hifumi has discovered evidence revealing the identity of the culprit. I feel as if mm -hmm. another stat increase for me. Okay, so I just wanted to say this. I, I, wanted, I, I thought of this yesterday, and I'm glad that he did that again. If you find his whole, like, uh, I'm a video game character thing, <laughs> so really obnoxious and annoying, but you thought it was cute, adorable, and endearing when Futaba did it, you have some really serious questions you should be asking yourself. Big time soul searching. Fan art. I'm putting that model to good use. <laughs> I really like that. 
<laughs> I really like that. We've kind of run the useless meme into the ground, but I like that a lot. <laughs> it's like a 3D dragon puppet. Uh... Uh, thank you, Panic Picnic, for the nine month resub. Nine months, I'm born, Data Pond. Thank you, Panic Picnic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love your name, Panic Picnic. Evidence, what did you find? Mm -hmm. I cannot reveal that just yet. That's but it. I guarantee I'm that sure what I found it. will steal the killer's breath from his lungs. Are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Miss mm -hmm. Ludenberg mm -hmm. said she'd witness something mm -hmm. worthwhile, too. Really? What did she see? Well, she refused to tell me. It it's seem... like when a girl bullies the boy she likes, right? Right? Exactly. Okay, so where's Celeste now? Mm. The warehouse mm. by the dorms. Mm. She was there. Mm. 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 Please stop it. She was there, but at the same time, not there. What's it gonna be? Look at the bloodlust. The word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood, just like in all those other genocide jack cases. At every crime scene, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. All right. Uh, is it the same same kind of? Uh... Oh, we can't see it. Okay. I'm curious if it, if it was exactly the same, like, like writing. I could feel the life draining out of my own body. It's a dead body. It's a hero's dead body. Oh, that's it? We're not gonna investigate? We're not gonna, like, look at it? Okay. It's the bloodstained poster. The blood is the most noteworthy, noteworthy part, but... The big-breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable, too. Right then, what, what's kind of what, it's weird about her? Is that supposed to be a shadow underneath her? It looks kind of weird. The girl's locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd find something like this. Ooh, have they been switched? Is this is this the boys' locker room and someone switched the name of it? Damn, Chihiro's presence here was especially weak. Her body and her soul. No forgiveness. Target such a helpless being. It's unforgivable. What a wretched beast to do such a thing. I I cannot forgive this. Well, can we go look at the toilets and see? Her shadow looks kind of creepy, huh? Let's go look at the toilets and see if they're urinals. There's a blood stain on the carpet. It could only have been caused by Chihiro's murder. Hey Kyoko, have you made any progress on your Indeed. investigation? Generally speaking, however, but I've yet, but I've yet, to, but I've yet to get going. I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation. What is it? Well, nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But, but. So then. Before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Shihiro's body one more time, thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girls' locker room. I guess I'll take another look at the body then. And Chihiro's handbook is missing. That's definitely worth worrying about. Chihiro's Ebo handbook has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Maybe, maybe, maybe Toko is can is is fucking Candlestick Jack. Sorry, genocide, <laughs> genocide Jack. But she isn't the one. Uh, the promise. Okay, so to so Toko is. Is it Taka or Toko? Because she said I promise. So so, so Toko is candle candle can, candlestick as uh, genocide Jack. Akechi figures it out. Has all the evidence. Talk confronts her. Makes sure of it too. They and, and he says, promise you won't kill anyone, you need to suppress it while you're in here. Then he he ki kills Chihiro. 
knowing the real candlestick jack is actually in here as this foolproof thing because if if the real genocide jack is actually in here and you find out and it is her and she even confesses to it i am genocide jack no one's gonna believe her because she is actually a murderer and then and then we we convict her when it was him all along and he was was pinning it on her in order to to get away with it because because they need to look really goddamn fucking guilty and that's what this whole thing is that's what i think is going on i think i think that's what it is i think that's what he did she actually is genocide jack but she didn't kill chihiro kyoko said i should examine the body one more time i know she said thoroughly but i do have my limits well i better give it a shot anyway let's see chihiro's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope the rope was used to prop her up in a kind of crucifix position huh this rope has a plug wait so then this isn't a rope at all and the more i think about it the more that's not the only thing that concerns me chihiro's fatal injury was a blow to the head which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her that's right there's there's the issue of her being suspended in the fatal blow yes the extension cord of the um of, of the thing that was in the that was in the library at first i didn't see any reason to think too much about either of them but seeing them again after looking through the genocide jack file something's not quite right what does this all mean are the i don't i don't know names are, are they all did, did genocide jack only kill men i feel like that should have been there did she never kill women status of the dead body well, the one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was used to suspend Chihiro. And to figure that out, there's a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. Plus, it might help to look at the Genocide Jack case file one more time. Oh, I didn't speak to, I didn't speak to Mango, hold on. Ma Mondo, sorry. Dude, I, yeah, 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 we did this already. Can we see the pool? I'd like to see the pool. No? Oh, I want to see the pool. This, this, the first time we came up here, this was boys already, because I remember trying to get into here. So I don't think they would have been switched. about the poster because I, I remember trying to get into this one i remember trying to go to key card and get into the boys locker room right the poster's kind of weird i don't understand the poster huh this poster it's a popular boy band called tornado somehow it doesn't quite seem to fit with the boys locker room Oh, but wait, that reminds me, the poster in the other locker room is, that's right, there's definitely something strange about this. In the boys' locker room, there's a poster of a popular boy band. In the girls' locker room, there's a poster of a big breasted swimsuit model. Could the posters have been switched? But if they were, why? What reason would anyone have? Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little more about the locker rooms. Did, did someone switch it and then switch it back? But then why would they want to, why would they want to make, make it look like... I'm missing something. There's a strange stain on the carpet. What is it? The boys' locker room carpet has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Cleaned up blood or something? Hmm. Oh, now we can go in the pool. There's some kind of clue in the lockers. Guess not. Got a coin. Yes.
Okay, so let's 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 go along with oh wrong wrong place, sorry, my bad. Let's let's go along with thinking it was it was it was a catchy. Why, why, why would Chihiro go with him? So he switches them. He switches them around. And takes her in here. And he, and she think and he uses the, 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 the e-reader to get in. Probably, probably Leon's to get in. No, that doesn't make sense. And then uses hers to get into the other place. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't get it. There's something I'm missing about this. Probably something simple. I don't know. When I think out loud, I don't read chat, by the way. You guys shouldn't be posting spoilers anyway. I feel like I'm missing something. Gear, gears are turning. Gears are turning. There's something about the e-readers, but if, if he wanted to use someone else's e-reader to get into there so he's not using his own, then he could have just used Sayaka's or, or um, whatchamacallit, or, or Junko's to get in. Unless those are turned off and they can't work. So then he uses his own to get into the boys' locker room. And then he kills her in there. He kills her in there. And... Then he drags her into the, the real one. The girls' locker room. That's actually the real one. With her e-reader. And then he switches the carpet. He moves... He moves... Because it's only on the carpet, right? But why, what's with the blood here on the wall? How did the blood get on the wall? Did it just spray when she fell? Or did some blood get on the other carpet accidentally? So he tried to use the poster to mop it up or something? Like that that seems dumb. That, 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 there are better ways to do it. What's the stain on the carpet? It feels, it feels like something along those lines, but that's not it. Some, something, something's wrong about it, but that's not it. Sure, there must be some more left waiting for me to discover. Oh, really? The boys' locker room card reader, but the doors unlocked now, so it's kind of pointless. Wait, pointless? There are a bunch of different colored pool, different pool-related items on the shelf. There don't seem any kind of any clues left. Okay. Oh, there are. Okay. What the fuck is that? I don't think this flotation donut holds any clues in the case. <gasps> but it has a coin! Nice. Did I forget to look at something? The girl's locker room card reader, but the door's unlocked now, so it's kind of pointless. Okay, let's just investigate everything. locker room. I looked at the camera, I looked at that, I looked at the poster, I looked at the carpet. Okay, so it's in the girls' locker room. I forgot to look at some of the girls' locker room. Fuck. Well, actually, is there something in here that I missed? I don't think so. I don't think I missed anything in here. That takes you to the side. That takes you over there. Oh, he just go straight over here? Oh, we're good. Did this already? Do you need to look at, at her again? I'll just go through everything in here. Yeah, we did this one definitely. We talked to Sakura, we talked to Mondo. Let's just do it again. You spent a lot of time exercising in the girls' locker room, right? Of course. Sakura. 
Oh, right. There was there was something that we had to talk to about about the um about the uh, the the thing. I thought that was going to be talking to Aoi about the posters. I use it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes he and I use it together. Okay, then let me ask you something. Do you think the posters in the boys and girls locker rooms could have been switched? I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't really say. I never really pay attention to the posters. I see. However. But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I have to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. We have protein coffee. Mm. It's in the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and down a glass of it after exercising. Anyway, the other day I spilled some on the carpet in the girls' locker room and it left a stain. A stain. But I don't see any stain on the carpet now. Of course. Exactly. I noticed it earlier. The stain has disappeared. I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. But still, isn't it unusually clean? As if there was never a stain here to begin with. Okay, so yeah, so the carpet has been switched. So she was killed in the boys' locker room. And then she was dragged in with the carpets. I don't understand how this got up here. I don't understand how the blood got on the poster. But yeah, they've been um, they've been they've been switched. Okay, so yeah, right. I think I think that's it. K killed. So he switches he switches the boys and girls signs to, to take her into the other room so he can use his own card, I guess, or or, or whatever. And, 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 and not any problems. Or, I don't know, or Leon's. I don't know, there's something about Leon's broken one. But I just don't get, if, if he can use Leon's broken one, why does he just use Sayaka's or, 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 um, or uh, whatever the fuck her name was, Junko, Junko. Just like on, she's completely forgettable. Yeah, there's, some, there's something weird about that. So yeah, so my only thought is, Killer switches these two, right? And switches the posters to make it look like it's the girls one in here and she goes into the girls one how does she get in though she can't get in because the card reader wouldn't work he takes her in but then the gun would would fire no something's off about that i understand that doesn't work either they couldn't have gone gone together and there's no way she could have gone into the girls room without someone letting her in Unless, unless someone switched her e-reader e without her knowing and she didn't realize she didn't have her own. She had a boy's one. But then, like, how, how could how could the killer have possibly known she was going to go to the fucking gym at 2 a.m.? Unless they, they coerced her to go or they, or, or they said, hey, let's go right now or they planned it or, or whatever. I don't see Chihiro going to the gym with Akechi. I can see Chihiro going to the gym with 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 Taka or Toka, whatever the fuck her name is. So maybe it is her. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. I could see that happening. I don't know. Let's progress and see what see see what's more. But I, I I'm liking this mystery. I want to know. Okay, so where is everybody? Um. Library and archive. Yeah, we have to go into those. All right, let's go. Let's go there first, and then we'll go talk down and talk to Goth Lolly. Yeah, isn't this the same lamp and extension cord that was here before, or no? What is that? That looks so weird. Huh? The lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see. It's not plugged in. The lamp's cord isn't long enough to reach the outlet from here. The last time I saw it, it was definitely on, and it was definitely right here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Bayakuya was using an extension cord. Okay, that's why it is then. But there's no extension cord here now. I wonder if... What? Isn't the lamps also in the archive? Library desk lamp is you add to the... Wasn't... Isn't the lamp also here? Isn't... Isn't that the same lamp? No? I thought when we looked at that lamp, he told, he said, yeah, I used the lamp in the room. I moved it. Isn't that the same lamp? No? Maybe not. I want to take another look at Genocide Jack's case file. Hmm, I know it's around here somewhere. Huh? It's gone. Did someone take it out of the archive? He's the only one who... Who would know someone like that? I can't think of anyone, but Bayakuya. Catchy. The 
Death Slam. I catch you grab that one, that one thing from over here and put it over there. It sure is dark over there. Okay, maybe I just misunderstood when we were here last time. Are we done here now? It's just showing the map, right? No. Oh, are we gonna look down here first? This is the clear of dust on top of the desk. Is there some kind of clue here? I guess not. I think we're done. I think there's nothing left here. Like maybe there is. I can't remember what else we're supposed to do in there. I'm getting a bit tired. Maybe we should end the stream before the trial starts. I'm not following it all as well right now. No? Okay, look, look, I'll make it up to you. Let's go spend our coins, okay? I know everyone loves doing that. I know everyone loves doing that. Let's go spend our coins. Here we go, I'll make it up to you guys. Here we go. Water for Hydrate Bot. Love you, Hydrate Bot. Love you, Hydrate Bot. Oh, it's a bong! Nice. Danny will like that. Ooh, we got an extra one. Nice. our embarrassing secrets after all. Damn it, I'm sorry, Chihiro. It's all because I wasn't strong enough. Hey, Danny. Huh? Oh, oh hey, Makoto. Hey, Makoto. What's up? <laughs> uh, haven't been able to... <clears throat> I mean, up to anything myself, that's for sure. Definitely haven't looked inside the mailbox. <laughs> Did you look inside the mailbox? Argenko Leon's and Sayaka's e-handbooks. It looks like the handbooks of any dead students are brought here in the mailbox somehow. Okay, well, where's, uh... Oh, it's 24 hours later, right? Okay. Only lending is against the rules. In other words, there's no problem with borrowing one. It looks like Leon's handbook refuses to turn on. But going to Monokuma, it shouldn't be broken. Is this really unrelated to the case? Either way, something about it still bothers me. Akechi went into the kitchen and with his intense culinary crafting skills, Sculpted a, a replica of the ebook out of out of fucking uh, sh sugar and fondue and icing. <clears throat> Who knew the kitchen had wonder such wondrous ingredients? Can we go to her room? I want to look into her room. Actually, we'll see Toko. Hey, Toko. This is Toko's room. We should probably just leave it alone for now. Or not. Are you Candlestick Jack? Yo! Okay, where's uh, Chihiro's room? Let's go. This is Chihiro's room. But now Chihiro's gone. Why? Why? I want to go in. No? Not even an option? All right, uh, so Celeste was supposed to be in the um, food thing, right? So she's still here. <laughs> Celeste, what are you doing here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels. Ooh, uh, Aoi will be happy. There's an endless supply to choose from. 
I see that, but have you found anything related to the case? Most unfortunate. I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. Then, did you find something? <laughs> Very well, I will tell you, and only Actually, you. Actually... Last night, I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. What? Really? Indeed. This was right before nighttime. Wait. Oh, right before nighttime. Okay. Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Oh, um... I was just... What do you have a... That looks like, like a, a boy's shirt in your bag. Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket okay, sticking so out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. <sighs> Chihiro's voice actress really gave it her all. Really gave it her all. She stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. Yes, indeed. I assumed she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but it would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this ever would have happened. <laughs> you get what you deserve, I suppose. So apparently, she went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. But the strange thing is, there was no trace of the track jacket or duffel bag Celeste said she saw a Ch Ch Chihiro carrying, which would mean the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. Oh, time to go to the trash area. Who's on trash duty? Is it still Hifumi? Trash room, the dump, in other words, or the gate in the way I can't actually get inside. Anyway, it's not related to the cave. What do you mean? What do you mean? Where, where, where to go? Where to go? Uh, thank you, Over Overlord Noodles. That's a cool name, Overlord Noodles, for the new sub. Welcome to the Rubber Dub Sub Club, Overlord Noodles. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, Bab. Sia. To, I'm so sorry, Bab Sia Tid Itka. Babsia Tadika. Okay, I think I got it. Resub resubscribe for two months. Probably not gonna get it to three months because I butchered your name so badly. Can we officially name Kyoko Kayako and Toko Taco just to trigger? Ch <laughs> I kind of respect Kyoko now, so I'm not butchering her name anymore. Uh, who's Toko? Is, is, is Toko the 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 girl or the guy? That's Taka. Toko. Yeah, we can call it Taco. Oh. Sure. Taco. Taco. That's for dinner tonight, actually. We're having we're, we're having burrito. That's kind of like a taco, right? Taco Thursday. What's in the dining hall? Burrito is just a soft taco. Like, come on. Hey Ali, how's it going? Glad you glad you lived. Glad you lived. Oh Hina, how's Taco doing? Hmm. Same as before, she won't come out and she just keeps on mumbling something about genocide Jack. <laughs> so I just left her there. You left her? My head was all swimmy and I was getting pretty hungry. Yeah, swimmy. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Oh, but don't worry, I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. All right, maybe I should just give you food next time we go on a date. Taco's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Speaking of which, what are you eating? Huh? A donut, of course. Of course. There's two things I'm sure God created. Outer space and donuts. Really? Hmm. And, oh, you like outer space? Oh, nice. We have lots of presents for you. We have lots of presents for you, Owie. I bet you Hiro would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. Uh, I should have tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? Well... Yeah, she was a little bit strange. Didn't really hang out with the other girls much. It was like, like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. She said that even though you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. Yeah, totally. Yep, it's true. And it wasn't just us either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. Was she just shy? Or was she not actually a girl? 
Oh god, is that the answer? Is she not a girl? I said it as a joke and it kind of went bing in my head. Really? Okay, I'm not looking at chat. I'm not looking at chat. Not looking at chat. Was she just shy? Mm. I don't know. She talks to the to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but totally fine with the opposite sex? Ah. Oh wait, maybe. Maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? You think so? I never really saw her as that kind of girl. <sighs> oh god damn it. That's- uh, oh my god. Oh my fucking god. That's it, isn't it? That's it. That's why she was in the in, in the boy in, in the boys one, and they moved her over to the girls one to make it look like a girl did it, because it's because because it's supposed to be genocide, Jack. Oh, for fuck's sake! For fuck's sake! Oh no! Ding dong, bing bong. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's the moment you've all been waiting for! The class trial! You remember where to meet, right? Yeah, the Please red Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! Begin the class trial, or... It's a boot to begin. The red door is right through here. Is there fan art? The protagon incel has an oh ahoge literal idiot hair. Mother cuts his hair because he's uncomfortable going to a barber. Meets girl gifts thong. <laughs> Spends the day going through the trash looking for spare change. Hold on, let me look at the chat. Oh my god, this is great. This is awesome. Holy shit. <laughs> Wants to be as prepared as possible for trial before trial. Peed himself in fifth grade. Spends all his money on gifts hoping to bribe someone into liking him. High school crush only pretended to like him so that she could <laughs> later named after a useless character. Biggest achievement is spooking a crane. <laughs> The chat detective leads a painful 250 IQ existence in an 80 IQ world. Instantly makes you his bitch assistant, the prodigal son of the Togami family. Never guesses, always knows. Named after an incredibly charismatic double agent. The causes laceration to the sharp wits and sharp dress code. Deeply respected by all Sculpt ebooks out of sugar and pond too. Holy shit, you made this fast? Never peed himself, never needed diapers. Oh fuck man, that's so good. That is so good. Holy shit. Well done. Holy <laughs> Oh well done. Oh, uh, so is everyone ready to what? Hmm? Am I blind or are we missing someone? Yo. Yo, Taco's not here. Huh? And Taco is. <laughs> and Taco is. <gasps> you really don't remember? Come on. Kidding. I'm just kidding. How could I forget that little nut job? She's a crucial part of the class trial this time. What are you gonna do? Okie dokie. I'll go ahead and drag her out, out here kicking and screaming. Just one moment, please. <laughs> Just like he said, a few minutes later, he reappeared, dragging Toko behind him. Yeah! I told him I didn't want to, but he, he forced me. I can't... 
No, Poshion can't unplayable believe you would drag a girl around. <laughs> Are these sort of problems better in the in the second game, by the way? The, uh, the, uh, oh wow, what the hell is going on upstairs right now? Are they better in the second game? Like the little um, translation problems, I'm guessing? Terrible. You're too terrible. Phew. Phew. So now everyone's here, right? Okay then, hustle on to the elevator and let's get this show on the road. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. So, shall we get going? It's time to find out who killed Chihiro. Chihiro. Chihiro Fujisaki. She was so gentle, so calm and meek. Nobody had any problems with her. Someone made the choice to kill a girl like that. <laughs> so is that is that what is that why Kyoko said you should really examine the corpse really really well? And he's like, well, there I have my limits. But she's like, no, you should. And he's like, oh, it's an extension cord instead of a rope. How did I miss this before? And Kyoko's like, you goddamn moron! Like, of course you saw it was an extension cord, not a rope. And it's like. <laughs> oh fucking hell fucking hell someone made the choice to kill a girl like that and that murderer is one of us someone standing right here hmm you ready we doing this Well then. I will uncover the villain who performs such heinous acts on a weaker on a weaker individual. Shall we go? Shall we begin? How very sad. I must admit, for being 3D, she was quite remarkable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. E e e. Maybe you know, and maybe you're just like your weeb sense is tingling, but it doesn't surprise me that you'd be into that. Yep. Yeah, okay, all right, really, really good attention to detail there, game. That's really, that's really something. That's, that's really something that he, yeah, okay, well done. Of course, just the idea of 3D makes me cringe. Hmm. I don't know why the killer did what they did, but Count on I'm it. sure it'll work itself out. Justice always prevails, right, bro? <laughs> I gave you plenty to work with. Show us how far your logic can take you. I like this guy. I guess I wasn't much help at all on this one. <laughs> mm. Is there something odd about Toko's? There's something odd about Toko's behavior. I do not think mere shock is enough to explain it. Hey, come on! Fucking Toko, man, what's got her so worked up? Yeah. Yep, not saying that. Okay. <laughs> We have no choice, right? We have to do this. It's true. Yes. I gave a small nod in reply. With one last deep breath, I walked toward the elevator on shaky legs. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. As soon as everyone was on, the elevator began to descend. I couldn't get a handle on my emotions. Couldn't stop speculating. The steel box sank with heavy clunking sounds deeper and deeper into the ground. And I think that's going to be the end of the stream. Sorry, everyone. If we do the trial, I think we're going to be here for like an another hour or two. So sorry. Sorry, everyone. I think we're going to call it here. So we've streamed for about four hours and 50 minutes, something like that. Yep. Yeah, sorry, buddy. So, yep. We'll continue tomorrow. We're going to be streaming on Saturday and Sunday as well. Seriously, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather stop right before the trial starts than, than halfway through the trial. Uh, we have to have dinner. It sounds like Lily's in a war zone up there. Finn's Finn's misbehaving. So yeah, I'm sorry. I know it's kind I know it's kind of a uh, kind of a cock block, but yeah. So who do I think did it now? I still I still think my theory is right. I, I, I still think that maybe I were thinking it. I still think that it that it was it was a catchy and a catchy is is trying to pin it on. I I think Toko is is genocide Jack, but didn't kill didn't kill um Chihiro, um and and it's a catchy doing it. However, maybe I were thinking it. Maybe it was maybe it was a. Uh, Maybe it was a uh, um, Toko. Maybe maybe Toko just you know just just went kind of kind of nuts and, and did it and and I don't know like it seems like she she only killed men. I don't know. I I I don't know really. But we'll see. 
We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Is there fan art? Let me look at it real quick. Yep, it's useful. <laughs> you didn't even play the game properly. Fucking contrarian. What do you know? <laughs> Yeah, chat chat did go a little nuts when th I didn't instantly get that on 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 Tuesday's stream. I'm sorry, it made it made sense alternating it back and forth. Like I don't know, I, I thought I was doing it right. But yeah, it's not bad. It's not it's not an awful mechanic. It's okay. Uh, thank you, Bomb Spieler, for the nine month resub. Thank you very much. And th thank thank you, Mad Big. Thank you. Thank you, Bomb Spieler, for the nine month resub. Sorry, I'm glad that I got that. Saw that before before I, before I uh before I called the stream. You're not supposed to alternate, yeah. But you're supposed to use the right click on on the on the the tr on the rhythm. Um, alternating worked that time, but you're supposed to use the right trigger on the right click on the rhythm. And I don't think the tutorial made that clear. It just says you're supposed to just use the right click, um, in order to target. But uh, I didn't go back and review the footage, so maybe maybe it does work in, in that other way. But alternating back and forth did it for me. I I think the tutorial could have been better, but it was okay. It's okay. Anyway, uh, thanks everyone. Good stream. I hope uh, I hope VOD chat survived this time because I really like watching things back with with the chat, and we'll continue tomorrow same time. Uh, we shouldn't be late tomorrow, but I can't promise anything. If it's going to be late, I will, I will say so um, ahead of time. So yeah, should be at 12 p.m. Eastern, and we'll be doing this uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and probably Sunday as well. So yeah, we'll be hitting it pretty hard with with uh, with Dang and Rampa. Maybe I'll talk to Lily and I'll see if we can do a longer stream for one of those and see if we, if we can get through it through some of it. What difficulty are you playing on? Mean. We're on mean for both. Mean on both. See you later. Thank you, everybody. Good stream.